Welcome to the Commoners of D&D, Isle of the Tiger Holiday One-Shot, brought to you by Tiger Skull RPG. I'm here with Tyrell, Anthony, and longtime listener, first-time guest, my mother, Debbie Cannon. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we're very happy that uh, Tiger Skull RPG is uh, still supporting us, and we're going to do another little mini uh, one-shot here on the... Isle of the Tiger, world created by Tiger Skull RPG. If you don't know what Tiger Skull RPG does, uh, they're creating monthly printable 3D miniatures complete with 5e stats, digital illustrations, and loot cards. Everything you need for fully realized NPC encounters. And they're also stepping into great things like uh, loot card decks um, and this awesome map that we're playing on, which is actually an entire world. Uh, If you haven't checked out our Isle of the Tiger mini campaign already, you should check that out. This one is has nothing to do with that one. It's just in the same world. Um, but I think Anthony's going to tell us a little bit more about Tiger Skull RPG. Twas one day till game night, late in the PM. Not a creature was stirring, except for the DM. He scoured his books in unearthed arcana to find the right monster to add enough drama. He toiled and worked his campaign all night, hoping his creatures could put up a fight. But alas, the poor guy had no inclination to search on the web for an even better creation. If he would have looked to Tiger Skull RPG, he'd be fast asleep or sipping some tea. Instead, he was tired, his wits at their end, from all of the time that he did expend. Dear listener, beware. Don't follow his lead. Go to Tiger Skull RPG. My advice you must heed. There are minis and resources in no small amount, and even with us, a 15% discount. Enter Commoners 15 and get started today. Find your heroes and villains and be on your way. Woo! That was great. Wow. (laughs) Did you revise it since you sent it to me? Oh, yeah, definitely. There was some past tense that wasn't in there. There was some bees and thous that were in there that shouldn't have been. You know, had to... That is... Had That's something else, Anthony. That That's stellar. really good. Yeah. Christmas so, that was wonderful. Definitely. Yeah, you can go to TigerSkullRPG.com uh, and use our code COMMONERS15, all caps, uh, to get 15% off of collections and STL files. Um, and you can find them at Tiger Skull RPG on Instagram, Facebook, and all the socials. Um, and also support on Patreon at Patreon.com slash TigerSkullRPG, where you can get started for as low as a dollar a month. Absolutely. All right. Awesome. Let's jump into this thing. Let's jump. <laughs> Let's jump into the Isle of the Tiger map. Into the northern section, just off of the Pineward Way, just here. Okay. In the city called Wilderton, where we find our characters today. <laughs> Anthony, why don't you tell us who you're playing? Well, uh, my name is Crisk. Crisk Ringle. <laughs> I'm a detective for the guilds. Um, I mean, if, if there are any goods that go, go missing, uh, if there are some, uh, some less than savory types that come into town, I, I, I do my best to investigate and make sure that everything's on the level. You're playing a halfling? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, of course, sorry. I'm a lightfoot halfling. Rogue. In, in inquisitor rogue, uh, inquisitive rogue, inquisitive yeah. rogue, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you know, I'm real good on my feet, but um, you don't want to mess with me. All right, I'll okay. mess you up, Tyrell. I can come up with anything for that. Um, Make it up. <laughs> come on, son. Nobody can what match up for? with Anthony, so just go ahead. <laughs> You can just tell us who you're playing if you want. You don't have to do I'm a whole thing. I'm certainly not going to do a play like you just. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Tyrell playing uh, Coralus Vane. I'm a soul knife rogue. And uh, high elf. High elf, yeah, high elf rogue. <laughs> and you and Anthony worked together. Well, you and Chris <laughs> worked together. Yeah, what was it you do again? I'm, I'm sorry, it's been a while. Oh, we, yeah. Take care of business for the company. Okay, okay. Uh, any, any slight uh, complications, you might uh, say. Oh, okay, okay. So, 
So you're more of a company man, where I'm a man of the people. You might say that. Okay, well, we can see who's better from that description. Who's a better person? All right, and Debbie, who are you playing? Okay, well, my name's Debbie, and I'm playing a man. (laughs) 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 And my man is named Thorn, and I am a uh, wood elf ranger. And I am a beast master, and I have a hawk named Talon, who is very talented. <laughs> what a natural. <laughs> what a natural. Okay. Get this legend out here. <laughs> yeah, so You guys have waited too long to bring me in. <laughs> um, so, Krisk and, sorry, one more time, Tyrell. Uh, Coralus. Coralus, Crisk and Coralus, you're coming off of a hard day's work. Uh, the snow has begun to fall here in Wilderton as the season of Frios is upon us, the cold season. The crops have been harvested. And uh, as always, it, the Frios season also brings along the wonderful Friosmas Festival. Friosmas. <laughs> the people of Wilderton are beginning to put out their Friosmas decorations in preparation for the Friosmas festival and people are bustling around as you would expect you're making your way to the Bear's Head Lodge your frequent nightly haunt uh, where you'll be looking for a bit of uh, warm food some mead and a nice fire to get around as you enter you see a, uh, a newcomer sitting at a table by themselves with a hawk on their shoulder. An outlander-looking man. Um, Anyway, you've never seen him before. Um, But after he catches your eye, you see a man sitting at the bar you've never seen in here before. The town's mayor, Mayor Curd. He's drinking an ale, kind of shaking his head. He looks a bit disheveled, looks distressed. He's talking to the bartender. And uh, you overhear him saying, Man, I've I've just really done it this time. I've, I've done it this time. I've really messed up. You know the mayor quite well, both of you do. It's not that big of a town, so, uh, you know the mayor. What did you say his name was again? Mayor Curd. Curd. Curd's in Wayne. What couldn't I... <laughs> what couldn't I just remember that? Is this where we're supposed to take our notes? <clears throat> if you want to. I have notes on uh, other game. Disregard those. I make Let's my way switch. across, and, uh, I walk up to the mayor, uh, Hey there, Mayor Curd. I uh, could help but notice you may have yourself a little bit of a predicament. Anything uh, I can help with? Oh, I don't know, <laughs> Mr. Ringle. I'm, I'm in a bad way. I've, I've made a bad mistake. He's a smallish kind of round man. Um, and you see he's kind of flushed. His shirt is, I mean, his collar's undone. As, I, uh, as you know, the Friosmas Festival is only a couple days away and, uh, Mm-hmm. I've, I've, with all the, everything going on in town, I've, I've forgotten to get a tree for the town lighting. And, uh, um, as you know, these trees aren't easy to come by. The evergreens that we normally use, they're just, they're not easily accessible. We have them shipped in. We have men go on a trip to get them. It's, it's a bad situation. What are we going to do? Sounds like you really stepped in it. Um, hmm. So are you wanting us to go and uh, get one? Oh, I would, I would never ask such a thing. I just, I don't, I don't know what to do. Normally, I have some of my, uh, some of my men, some of the local law enforcement, go and do it. Uh, it's a hefty job, uh, but I don't know where to get a tree at this, this late. I feel like I've let the people down. Mm-mm-mm-mm. At this point, you hear a, uh, a voice from the corner. Apparently, you've never heard of the everlasting tree. And you look over toward the corner, but you don't see anybody. And then he pops up right next to you. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little gnome man. Ancient looking gnome man. Hmm? You've never heard the, uh, the legend of the everlasting tree. Can't say that I have, old timer. Anyway. So... What do you think? No one born in the past 
three hundred years has ever heard the story, but it is one that must be told. The everlasting tree is not far from here. It was used as the Wilderton Friosmus tree for hundreds and hundreds of years. It always grows back. It is cut down each year and then it grows back. Mm. But several hundred years ago, some cultists from far away began worshipping the tree. This tree is no ordinary tree. It is down deep underground in a cave where it is growing next to an underground river that some believe has magical powers. These cultists worship the tree because they believe that it gives eternal life, immortality, if you will. And the cultists, in an attempt to save the tree that grows back every year, they uh, sealed off the entrance to the cave, and no one's cut the tree since. And I uh, suppose you know the location of the tree. I happen to know the location of this very tree. Wait a minute. I, uh, why are we even talking about a tree right now? I mean, about this particular tree. I mean, aren't there like... I mean, hundreds of trees within a couple miles of this place? Um, Mayor Kurd comes back. Well, um, it just... The, they're not the proper type, you see. Mm-hmm. Most of the trees around here die as the snow begins to fall, mm-hmm. and uh, most of them are buried underneath snow, and um, they're also just not the evergreen that we're looking for. That's why I have it shipped in from warmer places mm-hmm. on the aisle, you know. Mm-hmm. That's why it's such a big deal that we don't have a tree, and it's only two days until the festival. Oh, well. Um, By the way, Thorne, you're overhearing this. I was going to say, am I hearing this? Yeah, you hear this, <laughs> this, you hear this conversation. How far away am I? Am I near these guys? Or? Yeah, you're 15 feet away sitting in a tent. Okay, I wasn't sure if I should butt in or not. If you would like to, yes. <laughs> butt in. All you want. Okay, I don't know too. what I want to say. I, I, I haven't thought of anything to say <clears throat> okay, yet. Well, I just didn't know if I, if I was allowed you're to allowed butt in. You're allowed to butt in anytime. Okay, all right. I am hearing it. Carry on. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, like I said, I mean, it sounds like you stepped in it. <laughs> and you stepped in it deep. Um, uh, is, I mean, is this, this uh, gnome guy? Jin is my name. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is this, uh, is this everlasting tree? Is it, um, is it closer than, would you say, any other evergreen? Oh, it is not far from here at all. Maybe a couple miles outside town. In a secret, secret cave. How many people have you told that it's a secret cave? Because... No one seems to believe me anymore. (laughs) I mean, if that's our option, that's... uh, We gotta get a... How much would a man be... Pay, would be willing to pay for someone to go get this tree in the two days. Everyone kind of turns their head to look at you, and you're <laughs> sitting there. You've not looked up from the table. You've still got your hood up. Um, well, stranger, uh, I reckon it would fetch a fair price, as the demand is very high right now. Um, I'd be willing to fork out a thousand gold for the group willing to go get this tree. Oh, a thousand gold. I might have to join in. I'm just kidding. An old man like me has no business adventuring around and confronting cultists in a deep underground cave. What do you think? 333 gold a piece? That'll get you a nice... I'm not exactly sure if we can even... Friosmith's gift? I'm not sure if we can even trust him exactly. The quant. Which one? Me. The old one. The oh. gnome. The gnome. Oh, I mean, sure. Do gnome. with that what you will. And he slides back away and goes back to his corner booth. <laughs> He's a, a slithering one. I, I don't know what, what would he have to gain. Mm, I'd like to roll an insight check on this on, little on gnome. Ten. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about what I got here. Ear for deceit. If my insight is less than seven, it is a Im- or seven or less, it is immediately an eight. 
So I can't roll less. You than can't eight. roll less than eight. Very yeah. good. Very good. Twelve. That's uh. Hey, I roll a twelve too. <laughs> Eighteen. 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 Fifteen. You think he believes he's telling the truth? <laughs> He seems thoroughly convinced He's, of himself. He said it with conviction. <laughs> All right. Um, I usually work alone. I mean, you're more than welcome to work alone. We're going to go with this gnome guy, and <laughs> we're going to find this, this cave or whatever. Well, I was planning to go with the gnome guy to go to the cave. Well, that's completely not your M.O. You work alone, right? <laughs> Yes, but I don't know where I'm going. You know, well, I have to know where I'm going, and the elf or whatever here, his name is thing. has to tell me. Gents, gents, gents. Here's what's happening. We're taking the gnome with us. If you would like to come along, you're more than welcome. I don't like this already. Well. I think I'm going to have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you may run into me later. <laughs> you hear the gnome. She just walks out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone for half the campaign. <laughs> The gnome, the gnome pops back up. Gnome pops back up in between everyone. I would say it would probably take three men to get this job done, at least, to carry the tree That's out. What I was going to ask, and how many of these cultists do you suppose are there? Oh, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Well, they've been down there for 300 years, so maybe there's only, like, you know, a couple of them that are, like, his age. Oh, that wouldn't be too hard. We did say something about being uh, immortal, didn't we not? I mean... They believe the tree gives immortality. That's right. Just like I believe the tree is there. (laughs) 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 All right, well, uh, that doesn't convince me, but it's our best shot. Uh, Listen, fellas, and uh, a newcomer, uh, what's your name? My name is Thorn. Thorn, yes, Sir Thorn. Um, I would be willing to throw in an extra 500 if you were to go check for this everlasting tree. I have heard this legend, didn't know it to be true. Seems as if it may be our last option if we want to save Christmas. Or frozen Friosmas. <laughs> Friosmas. <laughs> Without yes. the tree for the town lighting, the people will be very upset. I mean, it's it's all we got. What do you say, stranger? It doesn't sound like I can do it alone, so I might as well go with you guys. Give it a try. Off to this mysterious cave, then. You must go at nightfall for moonlight. Is specifically uh, imperative to enter. Mm-hmm. That is all I know. That's all you know. Okay, wait. So, do you know where the cave is? Yes. Are you going to take us there? Sure. I mean, it's dark now, so... Yeah, we're leaving immediately. Yes, let's go. Are we good to go? I'm ready. Hey, listen. Um, this sounds dangerous. Do we need, Do we need like, potions? Weapons? Well, we have weapons. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Stop in. We're going to get as many potions as possible. Here, follow me to my shop. Okay. <laughs> now he has a shop. Now he has a shop. Um, go outside into the snow, which is really blowing hard now. It's bl- slightly blizzarding outside. Not as many people in the streets. And uh, you go a couple couple blocks down, kind of into a back alley and into the back end of, of a store. And... Uh, you come inside and he lights up a candle and you just see a bunch of it's very terribly organized there's just stuff flung everywhere books stacks of books ceiling high a bunch of different knickknacks spell ingredients things like that and he shuffles around a couple different trunks and he comes out with uh, three healing potions I think these will be of great use to you alright um, well, I appreciate that Yeah. I think that's just about all we need right I suppose so. You have a greater healing potion already. Oh. Dad gun. But technically, this you well, you can't have that because that happened after yeah, this. Yeah. Room. So you don't have a greater I healing. Don't actually have that. No. So it's so one apiece. Everybody write down one healing potion. One healing potion. Don't erase the greater one that you have because if we ever play that game again, you'll have that one. What is it? One d four plus one. Put it in 
parentheses. I don't know. Yes. We don't have it. Or is it 1d4 plus 2? I think it's 1d4 plus No, it's 1d4 plus 1. Otherwise, a greater is like 2d4 plus 2 or 2d6? No, 2d8 plus 8. Yes. Yeah. Or 2d6 plus 6, and then... It goes up like that, or three d six plus three. Three d six plus three. It goes two d four plus two. Two d four plus two. Okay. Yeah, and then it's three d six plus three, and then it's four d eight plus four. Oh, four. Okay. Yeah, I think sure. that's how it goes. We'll figure it out later. Anyway. Yeah, let's go. So, are we headed to the cave? Ready to go. Okay. I suppose so. It says here I have dark vision. Is that my, one of my talents? You do have dark vision, yes. Yeah. You can see in the door. Oh. Do you all have dark vision? Nope. I, nope, Halfling doesn't. Halfling doesn't, but I do. I thought I might have grabbed something that did, but I don't think I did. Off we go to save Friosmas. <laughs> and he's kind of trudging ahead of you. He's very small. You're kind of losing him in the snow, and he just kind of bounces out of it every now and then, giving a chuckle and... He's got kind of a, kind of like a Santa-ish hat flopping on top of his head. And uh, he leads you for what seems like forever through the blinding snow um, out into kind of the plains outside of town. And um, then the snow kind of subsides just a bit. And it's all, all of a sudden very peaceful. And the, the moon is kind of shining and glistening off of the snow. And in the distance, you start to see some rock formations. There's four rocks kind of sticking up out of the ground and um, you arrive on this location. Mm-hmm. You see a very like 20, 20 by 20 round pool surrounded by four tall rocks and the moon is shining kind of just directly down on top of this and glistening off of the water. Well, here we are! Where's the cave? They say it's beneath the water's surface. But I've never been able to figure out how to get in. So, All right, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, this is this is right up my alley. I'm going to get minis if you're role-playing. Or- yep, oh, yep. I forgot. Well, I kind of need you, DM. But anyway. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Do your thing. Um, all right, so I've spent a lot of time detecting things. Of a criminal nature, mostly, but this, uh, some skills are transferable, if you know what I mean, Thorn. <laughs> yeah, of course. Know. yeah, anyway. So, uh, what we need to do get a good look at this area. Nobody move, first off. I'm gonna treat this like a crime scene. Perfect. Okay, put yourself where you are. Okay, well, I don't know where I'm at, somewhere there. On the where top. would you picture yourself having this conversation with us? What direction do we come from? I'm going to say we're coming from the light. The, you know, this, this lit up part that we're at. Yeah, sure. Yeah, th- yeah this, th- that is the direction you're coming from. And the gnome is there beside you, but I didn't get a mini for him. All right, so... Anyway, you were saying. Um, I have another... I have another uh, thing here. Uh, okay. Eye for detail. Bonus action to make... Pres- uh, that's something else. Uh, investigation check to uncover clues. So okay. if I, you know, depending on the thing, I could find a... Is it just an... Inve- it's for investigation checks? Is that what yes. you're saying? Okay, so. yeah. Make an investigation check. You're looking around. That's a natural one, but I'm lucky. Okay, yeah. Good, good call. Good call. Halfling luck. 19. 19. Um, total? On. 25 total. 25 total. Wow. Okay. You notice right away these rocks, something's off. They're like one, kind of like one side of them is reflecting the moonlight more than the others. They're kind of shimmering. And down in the water, you can see that just below the surface, not too far, there's, there's, you can see the bottom, but it's not like just rocks and dirt. It's like a slab, and you can kind of almost see like writing on it or some kind of rune symbols, something. And they're also, you can see them kind of shimmering, almost like they're reflecting the moonlight. All right, okay, okay, everybody, get in front of these rocks and start start moving the gravel around. Let's see what it says here. All right, I'll uh, start shuffling this stuff off and around. Are sides. you looking down in the water, or are you looking... I'm, I'm looking at the runes for now to see if... Okay, like, well, they're down like in the water. Oh, I didn't think it was like deep water. Well, yeah, uh, it's, I mean, it's probably like... 
two or three feet down. Oh, okay, never mind then. Never mind. Okay, wait, wait. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. Let's see if these rocks, if we can rotate them. Okay, so you're going to try to turn the rock pillars? Are you doing it? I don't know if I'm going to try to, but... Yeah. Are I'll, you going to... Okay, try. I'll, Strength check. I'll, I'll, I'll you're helping? You. Yeah. Good idea. That's a great idea. That's a net one. That's a ten altogether. Okay, so... Sure, go ahead and help too. So you got... What? He rolled the net one. Add to your one whatever your strength modifier is. That's a 12. Plus the one. Add that There's plus number strength. next to I mean, strength. Plus. Well, wait. So two. You got a plus two strength. Oh, okay. That's uh, the strength. All together is three. Is one so that's 14, 14. three is 17 and... 10. 10, 27. You, you can kind of tell that it's moving, but it's not moving enough. But that's what we need to be doing. Looks, uh, yeah, this seems like it. Okay, all right. Listen, get it together. We got to try harder on this. <laughs> okay, I'll make another, another story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, put your purse down. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this rock. Let's go. All right. I got an excuse. My arms are tiny. Oh no. Oh no. 20. I got to do it. <laughs> Twenty, not natural. Okay. Eight. Oh. 28 and 2 plus... Okay, yeah, two that's 32. Two. Yeah, you're struggling, but th this time it moves and it turns. And you notice that as this this rock pillar, the shimmery side gets to the moon, you see it kind of projects to the next rock even brighter. But the next one, it, it stops there. It's not shimmering on the next rock. We need okay, to turn so all of these... That one to look at the next rock I mean wait wait we the beam the the rock that we're on the beam is going straight and that beam is going to another rock to another the rock where it okay, stops okay so and that's the one yes. that we have okay all right we need let's to go turn to one. this one next yep yep uh, i totally agree thorn okay make another and make i think this will check. drain the pond if we get it done correctly Ew. 15 19 I'll okay that. yeah i got 13 now, plus 2 you got it yeah you got it figured out now and you twist the next one, and the shimmery side as it gets to the, the moonlight, another beam shoots to the next rock. So you, you all are just going to take the time to do this? Yeah. Okay. Yep. As you turn the last rock, it kind of clicks into place, and you feel a slight rumble beneath the ground. And you look down into the pond, and that last beam shoots kind of down into the pond, and all of the, the runes begin to light up underneath. There's kind of a click, and the, the round plate in the bottom splits into four pieces and slides back and the water starts going mm -hmm. down yeah into a deep hole as the pieces slide back oh <laughs> you figured it out <laughs> see you back in town <laughs> he kind of trudges back oh, <laughs> towards not. the hold direction on, hold on wait wait yes you have, you have a torch or something uh no i don't <laughs> all right crap i think you have a Ten torches, yes. I have I have some torches. No. She's got an me. explorer's pack, so she's good to go. Perfect. And, okay. and okay. dark vision, which also helps. And you have dark vision? I have dark vision, yeah. So, I mean... You just hang on to one of us. I know, honestly, okay. I can just sit in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as, the, as the water drains, you begin to see kind of a staircase leading down and you can see the water is just kind of just falling into this hole it's not really like a whirlpooling down it's just kind of all shooting down at once and it doesn't take long at all for it to all be gone so now you're staring at a dark hole in the ground with stairs leading down spiraling down through this well-ish thing how do these torches work do they last a long time i mean i'm not sure how long a torch lasts but yeah it'll yeah, last a little while question. yeah those 10 torches would last us Days. All not. I should get. I sh then, we should each have a torch then, because I have ten of them. So should okay. we have? If you would like. I to. have some torches that you all can use. All right. Now the plan is, we're not going to light these until the very last minute, because you can see and you can see. Right. So oh, yeah. when you want to bring in the muscle, you light the torch. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, the smallest one here, <laughs> and I'm Lightfoot. Like, it'd be different if I was stout, but... You're the I'm, drill sergeant. I mean, maybe. Are you built at all? No, I'm, I'm a light foot So athlete. you're just a skinny guy. I'm a skinny guy. <laughs> I just got a really projecting voice. Right. what I am. I'm a ranger. You're, I mean, you're... you're some of these powerful. You're like Aragorn. 
Yeah, that's what. Or I Legolas. Legolas. Yeah. Yeah, more yeah, of a sorry. Legolas as a okay. ranger. <laughs> okay. Are you heading down? Well, lead the way. Yes. Somebody go who's find leading the, the way. I'll lead the way. All right. Okay. I'm right behind you. I'll head down. It's like a. It's it spirals down. Spirals. Okay. 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 You go down for quite a while, and the and the moonlight eventually just kind of gets choked out, and it's very dark. And the walls are kind of wet, and you hear a lot of dripping sounds as the water's still kind of draining down. Um, but eventually, you get to the bottom and you stand on flat ground. But we are talking very dark. For those with dark vision, you can see a little bit. See a little bit. Um, let me pull up the next map. Now we're going into the cave. Go. Nothing there. What's happening? I don't know. We're not live, so it's okay. <coughs> what, I mean, what happened? There we go. <laughs> oh boy! Direct me to the full screen button. Right there. Oh nope. There you go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. there there you go. Okay, you're coming in on on Tyrell's side over there. So place yourselves where you would like to be. <laughs> you're first. I look like one of the. Look how tiny he is. I look at one of the, like one of the fairy godmothers from yeah. Sleeping Beauty. Mm-hmm. Either that or a Parcheesi piece. <laughs> I could dig that. Yeah. He looks a bit like Parcheesi. Parcheesi. Okay, you can't see because it's pitch black. Right. But these two can see that you're standing on, kind of the edge of a. Oh, uh, the music, scary. Kind of the edge of a large, cliff underground. And there's a bridge stretching before you. Oh my gosh! Oh, sorry. Thorin wouldn't do what, that. What is, <laughs> what is it? What's going on? It's uh, a slight drop off of here. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, uh, it's a long way down on the edge. How are we gonna get down? Are there? Are there? Yeah. Um, We're going across a bridge. A, a, bridge. a bridge? No. Oh, it's just a footbridge with no railing. He said. Oh. Okay. Yikes. No rails, no ropes. Hey, here's the good thing. At least we can't see when we fall. No. <laughs> oh, wait. That's Speak just for, for yourself. Me. Yeah, we can see. <laughs> you guys are in trouble. Um, How anyway. long is that thing? Uh, it's like 60 feet. All right, I guess, wow. this is, I guess this is where I need a torch. Um, those even with dark vision, you couldn't see the other side of that, could you? How far can dark vision? 60 feet. 60 so. feet? Okay. We, could, we can see it a little, but... Yeah, the, the squares go away when you get out on the bridge because it's black. Oh, so it's way longer. Halfway. Than oh. Yeah. Halfway you just kind of see a bridge stretching into the expanse of darkness. I can't see that there's squares. About right here is where you can see, too. Yeah, it's very long. So we need our torches for this, for sure. Well, at you, least one. Well, yeah, I, I'll definitely need a torch. We're going to be in a line so we can see with one. We're going to space ourselves 10 feet apart. Social distancing. Why do we have to be that far apart so we don't break the bridge? Yeah, if we put saying? too much weight in one area. That might be wise. But Unless, if the bridge goes, we all go, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, and the thing is, I mean, that puts us far enough away to where we're not putting too, too much weight on these planks and, and close enough to where if one of the planks falls, we can catch the guy. Okay. Plan? That sounds pretty good, but I think we all need to have a torch. Especially you. Especially me. <laughs> because we don't want any false steps. <clears throat> yep. All right. Let's light the torches. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say you have the means to start a torch. Yeah, she's got a tinder box. It's cool. Yeah. 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 She's got a tinder box. All right. I mean, he, Thorn. Yeah, Thorn has a tinder yes. box, yeah. If, if you got torches, you got to have a way to right. light them. You got a striker. All right. Three torches now light up in the chamber. And it's kind of like when you stand in the woods with a lantern, you can't see. You know, you still can't see very far, but it's just kind of blackness before you, and you can see this bridge now. You can fly, you fools. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, do I go first, or what? Let me go I mean, across. You guys could still see farther than me, even with this torch. Let me go across, and I'll see if I can, if it's stable or not. Uh, you- can I you see? Just, you How do I use my hawk? Can I see through it or anything? No, you can't see through I it. I can't see mm-hmm. through it. Okay. 
you uh, you just start walking, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come in after you. All right, I'm gonna start heading across. Okay, very slowly. Very slowly. Okay. I wait till he gets about ten feet away, and then I start. Okay. Slowly making my way. A steady march across this narrow bridge. How about if I send my hawk to the other side? I don't know if your hawk could see. What would you like him to do? Yes, it can, because oh. it's a hawk. It can, it, okay. can, it can see very well, and it can just fly right over there, and that way... It can, he does have advantage on perception check. It, oh, okay. it can screech and help us to to know where to So where you're, to telling, go. you're telling your hawk to fly to the other side yes. and screech when he gets there? Yes, so we will know for sure that, he, that we can make it to the other side. Okay. The, Hopefully. The hawk flies off ahead of you. How is it starting to like wobble back and forth? It, it's got a little play in it. It's sagging as you step onto it. Um, it's old. It feels sturdy though. Like it doesn't feel like the planks are gonna break. It's just a little sketchy. It's definitely not comfortable with no. Ropes. Yeah, a little nerve wracking with just a black abyss below. Um, <laughs> not long later, you hear <laughs> as the hawk has reached the other oh, side, okay. <laughs> and it kind of right. echoes through the chamber. So you're here. I mean. Does that mean that your hawk has made it or that your hawk is in trouble? Because I don't think <laughs> well, we established. AJ made the noise, so I'm not sure. <laughs> we didn't establish okay. two cause for good, <laughs> one for trouble. Was, I think it was a good call, right, and it okay. was saying that we can come. All right, let's go. Okay, um, as you get to the middle of the bridge, it's really sagging a lot. Let's just make some dexterity checks, just just for fun. Is that the 20 again? Yeah. yeah. Straight and dexterity. And it'll be 20, not natural. Okay. Okay, just a dexterity check. Cool. Uh, 20, not natural. 12. Do Plus I have an five. five. So, tw- 17. 16 and 16. Okay. Oh, and what's your dexterity? Plus four, uh, 18. 18. That's plus 4. Okay. Okay, so 20 not natural. What did you roll? 20 not natural. 20 not natural and a 17. 17. Y'all are doing well, just fine. The third time that me and you just, rolled the same exact roll. We can just do a jig right on that bridge. Yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> all right. Okay, we keep on, on going. You're, you're still coming? Yep. yep. Tyrell, do you want to continue moving us since you have long arms? <laughs> you missed the big shot with no his problems. long keep, arms. Keep on rolling. Keep going. Just as you get to the edge of the bridge, you make it across. <laughs> <laughs> you see planned. your hawk sitting there, waiting. Oh, He's right. at the very edge. Fla- flying back to my arm. Again. Okay. Here's my qu- here's here's my question, fellas. And women. No, you're no, not no, a woman. Because you're a dude. Oh, now I'm a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. correct. I How are we going to get a tree across this? A tree. Oh, wow. That is a very good question. How heavy? Okay. I don't think my hawk could carry. I was about that to thing. ask how how much that thing could carry. Well, the gnome said that it was three it would take three men, so the hawk would not is not that strong. He doesn't have a weight limit, but <laughs> I don't think. Oh, we might need to. Uh, we can figure it out later. Maybe there is an alternate route. Maybe that we can Maybe. find. Secondary we... shaft for air. Yep. National treasure. <laughs> <laughs> the DM is giving us ideas. <laughs> okay, you make it across this bridge, and uh, the next platform just kind of you see kind of a hole bored out in the wall, just a tunnel, kind of entering in. Would you like to go into the tunnel? Okay, the tunnel's not very long, and then it begins to open up. You see actually light coming through, firelight coming from another room. Put the ahead. torches out, fellas. Put the torches out. <laughs> Good call. I'll snuff mine. Snuff it on the ground. Yep, yep. Just put it out. I'm going to roll a little... Can I roll a perception check? See if I see anything Um, in the room? Yeah, roll a perception check. I also roll a perception check because as a bonus action, I can make a perception check. I have a plus six thanks to expertise. Wow. This says uh, as a bonus action, make a... Well, of course, if it's in the middle of combat... Uh, but make a perception check for hidden creatures. For hidden creatures? Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. If I, I mean, if it's in the light, if I can see where the light is. Right, is. okay. So are y'all advancing up to the edge of the tunnel? It's where you can see out a bit? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Don't look. That's try 11. not to look. Oh, trying to look. Okay, I thought I was supposed to look. <clears throat> what did you roll? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Both of you. I got 25. 
I rolled 11 for looking for hidden creatures. Okay. Um... Let me adjust here. Okay, so you're coming in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can look now. You're kind of peeking out of this tunnel. Um, this platform is long enough and it's high enough because there's a flight of stairs here. That's a platform. I yeah, can't see you can anymore. see firelight flickering from two separate sources. You see a beam of moonlight coming down over here, and you think you might be able to see the top of a tree. Um, those. You both rolled, per, well, basically perception. Coralus. Uh, you think you can hear a little bit of voices. You don't see any hidden creatures. Do you hear that? Voices, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you pointed out, I do. What are, what are you, you going to do? What are we doing? Did I see anything or anyone in here? No, you couldn't see from from your vantage point right there. You're not, you're unable to see, but you do hear you do hear a couple voices, what? very hushed. What direction does it sound like they're coming from? It's kind of ep- echoing through the chamber, but you imagine kind of straight up in front of you, like where you see the the beam of light. Mm. It seems like they're probably coming from there, but it's 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 echoing kind of around. It's tough to tell. Okay. Well, I have this awesome thing called Pass Without Trace. Yes, you do. Mm. It sounds like a wonderful idea. It is a veil of shadows and silence that radiates from me, masking me and my companions from detection. That's a great idea. That's what I thought. And that, and it lasts actually one hour so well too. So for it's us very. Our sneak it 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 yeah. requires concentration. Remember, it's concentration. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So you stay back behind us. But uh, what do I do? Do I just say that you I'm using that? You can just cast that? it. Yeah. Are you just going to cast it? Yeah, I you might tell your friends that you're All casting right. it on. Uh, men, I have a spell that can cause us to pass without a trace. Oh, it's called. <laughs> it is called pass <laughs> without a trace, <laughs> and it is a veil that silences us, and no one can. We are we are masked from detection. I, like I suppose that means someone could could detect us, but we are masked. All right. So, if we try, we we don't have to try quite as hard to be stealthy. I'm going to try and stealth, and um, just go ahead. Do the so so you sh- after she what do I do? Yeah, what do I do? Do I have to? I'm not use sure. I haven't or? read the spell. Oh, you, you, that's you, it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't write down the spell components and the, what it takes. Hold on. Oh, I thought it was just something that I automatically Yeah, had. you do. Oh. Yeah, but it, like, the book will tell yeah, you what sure it looks a, like to it cast. It takes it. effect immediately, probably. Yeah, it's instantaneous. I mean, lasts an hour. We're in OP. Because we should be yes. able to do this in an hour if we're smart and if we can yep. figure things out. Yeah, just a second, Ty. Pass it out of the trace. Uh, one action. Range is a self. Concentration up to one hour. Um, for each, uh, for the duration, each creature you choose within thirty feet of you has a plus ten bonus to stealth checks and can't be tracked except by magical means. The creature that receives this bonus leaves behind no track. So, yeah. Was that your stealth check? Yeah, that's yeah. a twenty-two. The only reason it's a 22, I rolled a 2, okay? So I have a plus 10 to stealth, and thanks to expertise, and then a plus you 10. You have another plus He rolled a 2, and it's still super high. Wow, so we're going to be real Okay, what do, you, what do you want to do? You want to move? I'm going to roll stealth as well. I'm going to... Yeah, I was going to say, do we all need to roll stealth? Yeah. If you're going to move, yes, roll stealth. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a natural. <laughs> I got 13. Okay, plus your natural stealth, which is... Under dexterity, which you're proficient, so it's plus eight. Oh, plus eight. I was looking at that. So I got a 27. So you've got 21, 31, 27, 22. Okay. We got some good. You rolled a two? Yeah, Yeah, we got the same stats just about. You got a plus 10. Yeah, well, I have. No, I have 10. Oh. I rolled a 10. What was your. Did you go. Stealth is plus seven. Plus seven. Oh, so you got. Is that one of the things you chose for expertise? And you have 10 more. Stealth? Yeah. What you choose for expertise? I don't even know if I. What do you mean expertise? That's one of the things you get as a row. It like doubles your proficiency bonus. I don't think I did that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all right. Well, too, late. Too, late. Yeah. too late. Too late. Too yeah, late. Right. Okay, good. where are we moving to? What are y'all doing? <clears throat> um, I'm going to expend. Yeah, I'm going to expend one. I'm going to expend one psionic die. Okay. And I'm going to make a psionic connection with these two telepathically. Where you can talk to them? Yeah, okay. without actually. So it's like anything. walkie talkies. Yeah, 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 in your minds. Okay. Wow. Without, without actually. Without mind. speaking out loud. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. This music is so distracting to me. <laughs> it's great music. I'm not used to I just made it today. That loud. No, it took me like 10 minutes. Like yeah, I figured it wow. out. It's, it's great music. It's just a little too. Um, Distracting from my brain. Okay, so I have this for six hours. Six hours, you got walkie talkie in your head. Here's SpongeBob at his driving test, Patrick on the walkie. <laughs> Just cover up the antenna with a cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, cowboy hat. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to, well, I mean, I'm going to stay within 30 feet of her. Right. Yes. Uh, oh, do you, have to, form, do you I mean. have to stay within 30 feet? Yeah. Within work? 30 oh, feet. Okay, yeah. okay, I got you. I got you. Go ahead. You Please. choose any creatures within 30 feet of you to pass the Right, trace. okay. So I have six hours for that. Six hours, okay. You yeah. got walkie talkie radio, you got stealth bonus. What is Krisk up to? Krisk is walking to the leftmost fire, but I mean, obviously not getting with, you know, staying 30 feet with okay. close to Thorn. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, then you're all moving that way then? If Thorn. Or how far is Sure. Way? Let's see. We got from where you are, you're purple, right? No, Tyrell. You're green? Okay, you got five, ten, fifteen. The thing is, this is about a fifteen foot drop off. You're kind of up on a on an elevated position here. So if you want to come down the stairs too high to jump jump down or anything. You could jump. You just might take some damage and it would be loud. I'm going to carefully try. Do we want to try to slide off the side? Or do we here, want to go down here, the stairs? Wait, wait, here's what we do. Okay. I will... There's no stairs. Right. There are, but, <laughs> but they're, they're expecting us to use the stairs. So, are there people in this room? Have you can't we... see them yet. They're here. Okay. You hear we them just talk. hear so some talking. Tyrell heard here. them talking. Uh, Corliss heard them talking. I will... I'll help you get down. All that right. way you don't have to jump. You can just hang on and just kind of, you know, I can lower you down. Right. And I'm right. small enough to where you could, you know, I could, you could, you know, all right, uh, you catch me. What do you do? Like acrobatics or? You're, wait, he's lowering you down. Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're lowering him down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, make yeah, make <laughs> acrobatics check. I guess he would. Would he do acrobatics and I do athletics? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. That is a nineteen. That's a seven. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, he starts to lower you over the edge. And uh, you definitely slip, <laughs> but... Are you on my gauge? Yeah. Can I, mean, I, as a reaction, try to catch myself on the ledge? I'm going to say with your high enough dexterity check there, you're able to kind of grab onto a ledge, but now you're just kind of hanging there. Mm-hmm. So make another dexterity check to kind of to kind of regain dexterity footing. Do saving throw. Ac- okay, dexterity. Do dexterity saving save. throw. Try to regain some footing. That, so. that is a 18. 18. Okay. Um... You definitely regain your footing, and you're just kind of hanging off the edge here now. Okay. I'm going to try to very quietly and carefully um, slide down. Okay, make stealth check. Don't forget, we got the plus 10. That is a 23. That's a plus 10. Plus another 10 for Pass Without Trace. Oh, yeah. Okay, 33. So 33. 33. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're definitely we don't really even high. have to roll, because yeah. okay. <laughs> even without um, the roll, you point, can still amazing. pass through. <laughs> The okay, now that you're on the ground, what are you going to do? Super stealth. I'm going to roll another perception check. Yeah, do that. See if there is, if I can see anything. Uh, that is a 18. 18, okay. You see a guy up here on this kind of pedestal looking thing. You see another one standing at this fire. And you see two standing over here. Well, no, you can't see them from where you're at. Talos, is that you? Oh. <laughs> so you see, you see these two guys, but you still hear voices coming from this direction. Oh, okay. And then you think you might see someone kind of walking this direction, but then he goes out of sight from you from that location. 
Okay, so I speak inside my mind. Um, oh, we can speak to him, well, and he he's can... he's done this before because they work together. I don't know if you would know okay, that. Okay, well, I'm I'm, he didn't I'm tell confused. You that he I thought he could talk to us, but I didn't realize we. Yeah, could you talk can to talk him back now. as well. Yeah. Do either one of you see these men? Listen, I can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see the one by the fire. I Not from where he's at. Oh, okay. Too short. Too short. Too small. Okay. What about you? Yes. I can see them. No, you can't either. Oh, I can? Okay, so at least four size pillars. What? Are those fully sized pillars? Yeah, these you are five by five pillars. Oh, okay. You're, five five pillars. Oh, okay. you're well, a good ways away, but you're elevated and you, you're yeah. too far from the edge to be able to see what's going oh, on. Oh, already. No, I cannot see a thing. Okay, let me let me help lower you down and he can he can help your footing. And then you can both help me get down. Okay. Okay. So you're helping good. him get. You're helping Thorn get down. Mm-hmm. Okay, make and another. Then we can catch him. Well, so and he can yeah. fall down. And I'm hoping that he's going to kind of try to help, help with the feet. Okay. okay. Well, do you say that? In, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make a strength. Okay. All right. Thorn, make a dexterity or uh, acrobatics. Is that bad again? Eleven. It's not bad. Acrobatics is plus five, and I have eleven, so that's sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. It's an eight. An eight. Uh, once again, is uh, is he gonna help? He kind of he kind of kind kinda drops you, but you grab on, uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Is that so, this too? Or? Yes. Roll that, and then look at your saving throws up there. Well, it'll be on the dexterity top thing on the dexterity list. Unless, yeah, unless it's well, efficient, so it'll be plus eight. I don't know where you're where you're looking. That's right. Here, dexterity saving <laughs> throws plus eight. It's eight. Oh yeah, 14. twenty-two. So yeah, you you catch yourself. Anyway, you're helping okay. you're yes. helping him climb down. Okay, with the help of of uh, Corliss, <laughs> kind of underneath you, he helps you kind of lower down to the ground. Definitely okay. no help here from Chris. He's he's struggling. <laughs> okay, Chris, are you climbing down? I mean, I'm thinking about it, guys. Should I should I climb down? I mean, I can't see, so just jump. I'm either Trust climbing fall. or I'm yeah. This. I'm thinking trust fall. Yes. You guys gonna catch me? We will catch. We will catch you. To the best I'll do my best to catch you. <laughs> I promise you right now, if you don't catch me, there's gonna be problems. <laughs> hear me? I hear you. All right. Make athletics check. Trust fall. He's coming. Me too. Yes. Athletics. Oh, I got an 18. 12. Without whatever. Okay. Yeah. Plus, plus to add. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's a. That was a ten. Plus oh, I get to two. add five to that yeah. too. So twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Me. Yeah. They catch you. All right. They catch you. I should have mostly made that thorn, one but, but it's because he's taller, so he caught you first, and then he kind of brought up the rear. Okay. Everybody, make a group stealth check here. Just make a. The stealth, we get to add the ten. Yeah, you get to add an extra ten. It's only, or I'm sorry, it's not 24. Well, it's plus five, plus ten. Thirty-seven. Twenty-one. Thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah, you're not having any problems here. We okay. Um, looking around in this area that you're in right here, it, it's dimly enough lit from this fire that you can kind of see around you. I don't know what's happening with the map here, why it glitched like this. I but was wondering what that square is. There's a couple uh, small cots and a couple oh, tables. Oh, like on this side? Yeah, it's the same as this side. It's exactly the same. There's a table, oh. there's a, another little round table, and there's a couple cots. Yeah, there's also a smashed table in front of you. There's a oh. toilet behind you there. I stuck that in just for fun. <laughs> you made this whole thing. Yes, I did. It didn't fall in there. One made of those today. bodies laying on the ground. Skeletons. Oh, wow. But you can't see those too much. Did you make this a dungeon draft? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Neato. I'm bumping my microphone. Yeah, please don't do that. Okay. What are y'all going to do now? All right. So from this point, you can all you can all see a few guys. You can hear voices. We've got two options. We go in there, stab them up, get out with that tree. Well, here's my thought. What if they're literally immortal at this point? From the, the uh, tree. I mean, do you think they've they've tested that out? Probably not. Don't know. Can we see the skeletons? Um. Yeah, you can see this one that's out here by this fire. 
You can. It smells a little bit rotten in here. <laughs> Not great. Well, if you can't judge by the smell, it would appear that maybe some of them either died or they killed the original inhabitants of this yeah, place. I mean, here, here's my thinking. Okay, here's my thinking. Um, we go in there. I, I'm. I and I'm. I'm. I'm really on board for bringing. You know, bringing it to him. Let's. These guys. Let's bring the law down on them. But also, I mean. Let's say we do stab them and nothing happens. That just makes for a really nice free up, free, free osmus, free osmus for them. You know, if if we stab them and you know we you know take them out, that makes for a really good free osmus for us. So I mean, either way, somebody's walking out of here with a good free osmus. What do you think, Thorn? Um. You. Don't know. You're not a pacifist, are you? Thorn's in it for the cash. I'm at a loss. I'm not sure. Well, I do have an idea for this guy that's right here in front of us. All right. That might work. Can we get a little bit closer? As quiet as possible. If we, if we want to Good plan. Out. No, just <laughs> let me get I thought closer. There was a little more to it. Let me get close enough, and then I'll, I'll take care of him. And then what? I'll try and take care of him. I mean, you could take care of him. I could take care of him. Thorn could take care of him. I mean, honestly, this. I mean, we're getting off in the weeds here. So, are we wanting to take care of him? Is that the thing that we uh, want to do? I'm gonna move up uh, within thirty feet of him. Wait, do you want to get outside of 30 10, feet of Thorn? 15, yeah, that's right, 20, because 25, you'll lose your, ten, this your point, extra 10 you stealth. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You're 35 from him, and you're 30 from them. So you're about to get out of your stealth mm-hmm. bonus. I thought we were all moving out. What exactly well, are we? Well, if you're we, all moving. If yeah, I was yeah. going to say, what yeah. are we doing? Are yeah. we all doing the same move? Well, that's what I'm saying. We probably, If we're going to take them out, we uh, probably need to work. In yeah, I wasn't sure. Okay, here's here's what I think. I'm gonna put you behind this pillar. Okay. You're hiding behind this pillar. I can't platform. see anything. I'll throw a rock. Graphics. Or something, something to get this guy to kind of walk over there, and you, uh, you, uh, you know, you do the deed. How big of a fire is that? How big? Yeah. It, it's it's large. Looks like is it it's like kind of a, I mean, it's taken out. I mean, it's about a ten to fifteen foot radius so on the just the. Fi- I mean, it's like a. I'd big, say like here a, it is. Here it is. There's. It's there's, like a raised stone wall with a huge bonfire in the middle of there's it. There's ten foot. From what this looks like, ten foot of bright light, mm-hmm. and then ten foot of dim light. Yeah. So it's a. It's a. If I get right there, to that, I'm not out of the. Stealth, you're not out of the stealth, I'm not right? In the light yet, right. Anyway. Do they have dark vision? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. But we're very, very stealthy. We're all like a super right. cave. So if they're living in the cave, they're probably able to see pretty well in the dark. They're probably used to it. Yeah, that's that's a good true. point. Good so point. How about, how about I throw this rock over there and get him to at least look away? Well, I have... One Do that, or you can shoot an arrow out there, way out there. Or send the hawk in to scare them, and they'll be- wonder why a bird is flying through <laughs> in the side of the cave. <laughs> yeah, uh, that could. But I mean, what, there is there is light coming in, coming in over the tree. So I mean, you know. Well, that's true. I guess it could fly fly in the hole. I'm gonna try and push him into the fire. That doesn't seem like a really good Wait idea. Wait a minute, I have, a, I have Rather, a, an idea to add to that. Into the fire. How yes. about if the hawk flies into his face and gets him all distracted, and then you push him into the fire? Uh, well, while he's uh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That sounds uh, out, out of game. Out of game. I have a quick question because I have not played a rogue since that Tabaxi I played way back okay. in the first story. Mm-hmm. If you have an enemy that's off guard and you Hit them with a, with like a un like they're not expecting it. Is that counted as an advantage and yeah. counted as sneak, a sneak attack? attack yeah. yeah, that's okay. sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I haven't played. That right, right, but but it has to be it like has to be else. something that causes damage to do sneak attack. Yeah, right. like a push, 
wouldn't do sneak I, attack. No, 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 I know. But that was just an idea I have because I have a, a, the, a feat uh, to do that. But here, here, here's without why. Without them being able to see me. Here's here's why I um, here's why I you know have a bone to pick with that plan. Um, knives can kill people better than fire. I can do that also. All right. Without even leaving a mark, actually. I just I just feel like you know he goes into the fire, he starts screaming, or these other guys start looking at him. I all right. If I kill him with knives, if you will. Maybe that'll work. Then, possibly. I mean, as long as it's quiet. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit him with two side blades. Okay. So also, you don't want a hawk distraction. You, <laughs> maybe not right now. <laughs> Keep it you on see, the back burner. It's a good plan. You see two, or you see one bluish energy start glowing in my hand, just faint glow, and it, it turns into a. Mm, Longer shaped dagger, basically, and I chunk it at that guy. Okay. Now, does it do sneak attack damage? It does. Yeah. Okay. That is a twenty, not natural, to ow, hit. Ow, ow. Yes, a twenty, not natural, does hit. Okay. That's two plus four plus two plus two plus six. That's ten. So. Okay. Uh, 16 16 because it's 2 plus 4 that's okay, 6 so that's and then six. that's then, yeah, yeah. yeah 16 damage 16 damage uh, and I'm going to as a bonus action cast another one at him okay. which is what is that uh, 13 to hit that hits yes okay is that, it a plus 5 or plus 7 this is a plus 7 so that's 8 plus um, 8 plus 7 is uh 15. 15. 15. Sorry, to hit. My bad. 15 to hit. 15 to hit. Yeah, it still hits. <laughs> yeah, the number went up, so yes, yeah. it does hit. Uh, <laughs> it will still hit. Eight points of damage with that, so that's 16, 8. That's what? 24 damage. 24 damage. Um, you hit him kind of square of the chest and up just a bit. You see him kind of grab, and then he just kind of slumps forward and actually does fall into the fire. And this is a deep enough hole, like, where the fire is, that he goes out of sight into this fire. Ooh. Wow. Okay. One down. Good hit. Good hit. And it doesn't seem like the rest of them really even notice. Okay. Very quiet. These two are still talking. Wow. Um, you now see there's one guy standing over here at the water's edge, and the one is still standing up on that that altar-looking thing. Um, to the listeners, because I didn't explain, because I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> this is a very large open chamber, uh, several stone pillars um, supporting the structure. There's two large bonfires. Equally um, spaced apart. Yeah, on either side of like kind of the aisle leading up to where um, this tree is, which is inside of kind of a, a like boxed-in area with an altar in front of it. Um, and there's a river, small river, flowing behind where the tree is at the other end of the corridor. And our characters have stepped into the far end into kind of the living quarters area and are now working their way across and have just taken out the guy by one of the fires. There's the uh, there's two other guys standing over next to the other fire conversing, and then there's a guy at the altar, one back behind the tree at the water's edge. So Resume game. We need to get rid of that one that's gone. Yeah, we can move him out of there, Tyrell, if you can reach him. Yeah. He fell into the fire. Okay. He had no physical wounds, by the way. Oh, he didn't? No physical wow. wounds. Wow. It's all psychic damage. Yeah, he just no blood. Awesome. Nothing. Insane. Psychically so there's severed. No, there's no evidence. <laughs> They'll just wonder where he, where he yeah, went. he just disappeared. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. These two, we're going to have to um, simultaneously... Attack. Yeah. Well, they hit them on the exact same time. Mm-hmm. So here, here's here's what's going on. We need you with your bow. Keep an eye out for what if somebody's coming around. Give us a signal. We're gonna sneak up. You and me. All right. And okay. All right. I'm, it. I'm the lookout. For right now. Okay. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna. Sneak. You don't. You still don't want a hawk distraction yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> 
that's a... <coughs> so we're going to try to move up on these guys, but we also want Thorn to be close by for Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Within at least 30 feet of us sneaking to them. Um, did you did you make stealth checks? Is that what you were I was just about to do that. Yeah, I just rolled a little bit. I haven't rolled yet. Okay, make stealth checks. Do I need 31. Yeah, you roll, also roll. 31, wow. 33. 33. Oh, wow. Oh, I only got a 2. Because yep, it hit my piece let's of paper. Plus but. 8, so that's 10 and then 10 again, so 20. It's still pretty high. Yeah, you can't really lose with um, this. All okay, you move to this, to, this, to this staircase, <laughs> and now do you want to go across the open, or do you want to come over here, or... Are you, you making it, ranged attacks? No, no, no. I'm, I'm. You got to get right up on them. Yeah, I've oh. got to get up up on them. Oh boy, that's how I sneak attack. I mean, I can't. No, I don't right. have fancy purple blades. Blue. Okay, so oh, yeah. he can go from a distance. How do you want to approach to get in position here? Well, um, here's the thing. I, being a light foot halfling, I am naturally stealthy. Also. Let me let me bring it up real quick. By the way, these things have a range of sixty feet. Oh, so you sixty? They have no long range, but they have sixty feet. You can attempt. They're to only hide forty-five. Even so. when you are obscured by uh, only by a creature that is at least one size larger than you, being that that is the case, I would think. I mean, I'm a medium, so you're what's small? Yeah. So yeah, I'm one I size mean, larger. Oh, so you're just gonna stay behind him? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak. I mean, it, my, my, my whole thinking is, you know, if, if I'm naturally stealthy to where I could hide behind a medium creature, I could hide behind medium, you know, not that tall things while I'm sneaking. Right. Yeah. So, what would you like to hide behind, though? I don't know. I mean, this is a large open area you're about to cross. It is. You are in kind of a dark area over here, okay. and they're not paying attention, so. I'm going to try my best to... Oh, did you say it dips down here? No. Oh, I thought you... Oh. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to... Uh, I mean... At least walk... Uh, just, uh, oh, man, this is tough. You rolled high still. Yeah, 33, oh. so... I'm gonna to try to sneak my way to this one, to behind that one. So Around what, here. What kind of weapons do you have currently? Short sword and a dagger and a hand crossbow. Or do you? And you do have a hand crossbow though. Yeah, but I don't get sneak attack for it. You should. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I thought sneak attack was only me- melee. No, no. No, that's yeah. rage. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, because that's what I'm using. My, my is gonna snipe my him. Dagger. Yeah. Yeah. You can we'll even just... use a dagger for sneak attack, like throwing it. I mean. Yeah, but I get more damage out of the hand crossbow. Okay, so are y'all gonna try to fire at them at the same time? Yeah, uh, two separate ones. Where you get one, I get the other. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'll go for the. Is the furthest one away at least thirty feet from me? Yes. Okay. Then that's that's my minimum range. That's or my maximum range. That's your maximum range. Okay. Well, it's forty-five to that guy. No, that was from where you were over there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Okay, it's thirty to this guy. Put me 30 feet. Like, I want to be From like... the farther guy? Yeah. Okay, why don't you just come over here by this post That's then. me. Oh, my bad. <laughs> can he see me if Can he see me if I'm next to the fire? I mean... I mean, he'd have a better chance, but you're all the 33 stealth, so... All right, rock on. If you just peek out from behind there. Sweet, sweet. All right. Oh, that's 35. Sorry. I'm sorry. So you just want to get, like, somewhere, like, right here? Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to go over here. Just on the edge of the light, right, right before the light, and then I'm going to <laughs> chunk two. Mr. Krabs. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna chunk two sonic blades at them. Uh, which one? At uh, which one are you going for? I'm going for the furthest one. Okay, I'm going for the one behind him then. Okay. Okay. <sighs> that is a 16 to hit. That's so close. 16 hits. Okay. That's 26 four. to hit. 26 definitely hits. That's okay, sneak so attacks. So. It's four plus four. That's Random eight. Random damage. It's five. Thirteen. Oh, damage. Sneak attack. Snack. You say sneak radiant damage? No, regular no, no. Damage? Regular, oh, okay. regular damage. That was five, and then sneak attack is ten, so fifteen so damage. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen again. Sixteen to hit again. Okay. For twenty-eight points of damage. Twenty-eight. Okay. 
And if, I mean, if it looks like my 15 doesn't, isn't killing the guy, then I immediately send a message to Thorn to shoot him. Okay. Um, if you have a bow, do you have a bow? I have a long bow. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, mm-hmm. assuming 16 hits, right? For yes. both of the, I rolled a 16 twice with that. Yeah, no. Yeah, you hit. Okay. Uh, Coralus. Two blue daggers zoom across. As you see them leave his hand, you fire your hand crossbow and hit this guy right in the neck. This guy kind of slumps forward and falls into this guy. This guy is still kind of staggering. Hmm. He's standing, but he's still staggering. So, are you sending a message? Yeah, to yeah. Because I mean, yeah, it would take me a second to reload. So I just okay. say, "Thorn, shoot." Okay. Thorn, shoot. Are you right. shooting? Yeah, I'm shooting. Okay. What do I have to do? Roll. You roll a d20. Roll okay. You're gonna add ten. I guess shoot. maybe she's a she. Uh, what is she it? Must oh, be a sharpshooter. Nine. Rangers get a funding style too. Okay, they? They get, she probably has like that plus two or whatever yeah, with the, the archery, the archery thing. Yep. Nineteen to hit. It's Nineteen. Nineteen definitely hits. So let's okay. see what the damage is. Is that it's a D eight? Yeah. D8. So you'll take this one here. Roll that. It's a four, and then you add. What does that say? The five. So nine. Nine damage. Okay. Um, before you even get your message all the way sent, you hear an arrow fly out of out of Thorn's bow and just laces right through this guy's right between his eyes, and these two guys just kind of slump back right here in a in a heap. I'm gonna wow. cast Mage Hand. I know Good it'll shot. take a minute, but I'm gonna okay. grab psionically. I'm just gonna reach out and like grab that guy or that one on the far right there and pull him into the fire. Can you, you can you pull that much weight? Well, I mean, with that with that uh, telekinetic feat, I can push or pull a person, so I would assume that I could pick them up. Okay. Or, or drag So you're dragging out. this one? Yeah. Toward the fire. How far is your mage hand reach? Uh, 60 feet. Okay. With that with that feet. You drag him into the fire. And then I'm going to do the same um, thing. But you notice his body is, you know, it's dragging. It's making noise as it's coming across the ground. Okay. Um, because that's not under y'all's stealth. Right, so. yeah. Right. But it's an invisible mage oh, hand, too, though. Okay. So um, they're not going to see the hand. Yeah. They're just going to see a body. They just <laughs> might see a body. Sliding. All of a sudden, you see this guy. He kind of turns around <laughs> right as this body gets drug over the edge <laughs> and into the fire. Like, what? And uh, you hear him. Does anybody know Abyssal? No. What? Abyssal, the language? I don't have that kind of vacuum. Sorry, I don't know the parts. No. He shouts something in a language none of you understand. Um, it sounds very aggressive. And then he runs. Um. Back here. Okay. And you see this guy alerts. And he comes this way. So now let's roll some initiatives. Now that you've gotten down to two enemies. Okay, okay wait, wait, wait. Is... Wait, is uh, initiative... It's your dex, my phone. Hold on. Is initiative an ability check? Mm, no. Yeah, it wouldn't be, is would it? it? Is it initiative is, yeah. is initiative ability? I think it's an ability check, yep. I think so. I'm calling it is. I'm saying it is. I'm right. the DM. Okay, Listen because I rolled a natural one. That's why I'm wanting to know. Oh, is this the well, you get... Yeah, lucky... Yeah, I've rolled... I do that with Quincy all the time. The yes, okay. for initiative, yes. 19. Oh no, I got a two. Uh, 17 for me. So seven altogether. Oh, well, that's five. Yeah. yeah. Plus that. Sounds like the wedding march. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Corliss, what? Uh, 17. Um, Crisk with a 19. Thorn. Remember my name. It's Crisk Ringle. (laughs) Punk. (laughs) Happy holidays. You filthy animal. (laughs) Frios. Friosmas. 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 Merry Friosmas. <laughs> Merry Friosmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> you 
filthy animals. That's hilarious, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Lock and love. Okay. Um, Chris is up first. Right. How far away is this guy? Quite a quite a ways. There's so much room for activities in here. I can move <laughs> around. These guys are gone. Yeah, they died. Both they're, of them. They're yeah. done. Eighty feet away. I'm gonna say it's pretty close to the other guy too. Okay. So I could run, dash, and dash again as a as a bonus um, action. Hmm. You could dash as a, as a bonus action. Right, but I can also dash as a um. What's the thing I can do for thieves. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can you can you can dash as yeah, a bonus is, action a bonus instead action. of Oh, 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 instead oh. of as a whole action. Oh, never mind then. Uh, yeah. yeah. But that would only put me at 50 feet. I'd still be 30 feet away from him. But that'd be enough for me to uh crossbow him. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do that. Um Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh I'm going to move 50 feet closer to him. To him? Yeah. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay. And, um... Um, This is a very short wall. If you want to take, like, half cover there, that's fine. Perfect. That's what I definitely will do. Okay. And from my half cover, I'm going to policeman fire. Okay. Get down on the ground. No, but anyways, yeah. (laughs) Definitely going to... Kind of peek around the wall and uh fire. Okay. Oh my. Wow. It's a little very, bit. very aggressive. That's an 18 to that, hit. That hits. Great. It's not sneak attack this time. Wait, well, you didn't hide. You couldn't hide because you dashed. Right, so, yeah. right. So, and not sneak attack. That's uh, nine damage. Nine damage, okay. Um, you shoot him and it kind of catches him uh, a little bit low of, of center where you wanted. Um, mm-hmm. And he, he takes it, kind of grunts, but he's still standing. Hmm. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay, um, now it is his turn, and he's gonna uh, and he's gonna charge at you. Okay, okay. 30. And he's gonna whip out a scimitar. Woo! Oh no! What's he got? Like five uh, attacks. Ten to hit. Misses. Oh, how about a how about like a twenty something to hit? How Is it over like twenty something to hit, Anthony? The twenty what? Um, twenty three. Yeah, that hits. Is that this armor class number that yes, I'm looking? Yes, it is indeed. For why? Because you have five damage, dodge. Anthony. Oh, uncanny dodge. Five Good damage. Look. Five damage. Or do you would you like to uncanny dodge that? Do I have unlimited uncanny dodges? You yeah. can do that each reaction. round yes. as a reaction. Yes. So are we taking the low half or the high half? Take two. Okay. Two damage. Two, wow. Two damage. Boy. But your reaction is gone, though. That's, the thing. That's okay. And he's going to uh, also uh, turn and say something else in Abyssal to the other guy, who is now very alert. Oh, okay. Um, and we're going to Coralus. Okay. I'm going to... I'm already stealth, basically, more or less, aren't I? Uh, yeah, hiding. you're still on the 30 I'm, foot. Yeah. Yeah, and I never, like, came out into the open or anything. Right. So I'm going to move 30 feet. And it's up to you if you want to keep that pass without a trace going. If you want to just drop it, you can drop it. That's a free action. Okay. Well, it doesn't cost anything to keep it on, so. No, but. If you wanted to cast another spell, you would have to. Two daggers it. at the guy that's attacking. Crisk. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. That, that's also a case. That's a nine to hit. I know that, that misses. Yeah. First one misses. Come on, one. You got one. another attack there, pal? I do. Okay. But I want to check something real quick. You got another attack there, pal? <laughs> buddy? <laughs> Hi there, buddy. Got some popsicles in my basement. <laughs> Got some popsicles in the cellar. <laughs> you like what popsicles? 
Oh, I got a whole mess of pipes. Okay. Uh, that mess is, I'm going to attack. <laughs> Entertainment time is over. <laughs> what, what, Tyrell, sorry? Um, I'm going to bonus action. I guess throw another dagger, I guess. Okay. God. 14. That does hit. Oh, that actually hits. Wow. Yep. Um, well, it's higher than nine. That's, uh... I don't guess I have a count as sneak attacks. It's the first one, Master. Right? I mean, he's, no, he's engaged with me. Yeah, he's engaged. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Just how much did you do on that? That was uh, five attack? damage? Yeah, he's down. Boom. Really? Yeah. Got him. As this guy runs up on you and attacks you and he hits you, next thing you know, a dagger hits him in the side of the neck and he just falls to the side with a Wait, grunt. I don't even know. Do I see a dagger hit him? Yeah, you see the blue and it, like, just, just a, dissipates. Oh. A, fla- a flash of blue and he just kind of falls to the side. Nice. All right. My guy doesn't even have to do anything. Oh, there's one more. person left. Yeah. Corliss, that was your turn. Okay. Yes. Now, the big man. He's the bigger uh-huh. guy. I have to fight the oh. big man. Stepping from the shadows. I know. <laughs> <laughs> is the Deathless Apprentice from Tiger School RPG. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. The Deathless Apprentice? Yeah. I haven't. Listen, oh, I hope that doesn't mean he can't so die. We did an sword. ad for that like a long time ago. Oh. Sure did. Sure did, sure did on the YouTube channel. See, Go check I it do, out. I do remember the Deathless Apprentice being on the Patreon. Okay. Shoot. All right, he steps forward, kind of from behind the tree there. Oh, oh no. Have you knocked the music out? Pause. No, I don't know what happened. Anyway. All right, well, I'm far away. How you far are, can I shoot? Well, because I can't tell how far. Is like, what is for a longbow? It's like a long. It's like ninety, one twenty. 120, isn't yeah. It? Or 60, oh, yeah. Oh, really? So yeah. I can shoot him yeah. from where I'm at. If you're within sixty feet, you can shoot him without any hindrances. If you're one hundred and twenty, or if you're if you're anywhere between like sixty and one hundred twenty, you shoot with disadvantage. Okay. Well, how far am I now? Because I can't see squares where I'm sitting. One, two, three, four. Those lines are so thin, even yeah, on the ones like... I can see. <laughs> These aren't made for people that wear bifocals or people over 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's 150 to 600. <laughs> okay, she's within 150 feet. What am okay. I even counting for? That's ridiculous. Yeah, you don't have to 600 count. for the yeah. long range. What am I thinking, dude? Oh my goodness, well. That's a longbow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 150 to 600. Well, he doesn't even know I'm here yeah. because I'm still far enough away and I'm still under the stealthy thing. So yep. I am going to shoot him when he does not expect it. And okay. I mean, he's standing there with his arm up like he thinks he's real. Yeah. <laughs> he's really great. He's yeah. not paying any attention. He thinks doesn't we're going to even be, know there's a third guy here. Yeah. He thinks that we're going to be intimidated by him. Uh, so you see him <laughs> holding some type of book. Oh, he's holding a book. And it uh, suddenly kind of lights up and glows, and you hear him saying something in a language you don't understand. And you hear a sound next to you. No. As this guy stands back up. I was afraid of that. They were too easy to kill. They're coming back to life. But we burned two of them. With a, oh, with a glow in his eyes, and he's looking right at you. And you poop a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. my God. Now... We go to... Well, did Thorn. I get my turn? Thorn, your turn. That was still still that not my turn. turn yet? Thorn's turn. No, yeah. Oh, I thought it was already my turn. AJ, that, that body would still be that there. That was the only body that wasn't burned. Oh, okay, my bad. My yeah, bad. the other one I drove into the fire, but that one I just didn't okay, get to. Gotcha. Okay, it's your turn. No, it was not your turn because he just now he just now went. Yeah, she hasn't gone. Er, oh, the creature Thorn. was going to go yeah. first. Yeah, it's me. now your turn. All right. So I'm just I'm gonna shoot the du- shoot the dude with my longbow. Okay, go ahead. Because he doesn't even know I'm there. So sure. do I, I just roll this thing again? No. Yes, this? roll a turn. Absolutely. Every time. But you also have a number of th- things you think I should use. You I mean you could use. That's mm-hmm. completely up to you. Hail of thorns would be one thing to use. Yeah. Ensnaring strike would keep him from moving. Um, no, I don't think it keeps him from moving. I think it just grapples him. What? Uh, ensnaring strike. A rising Pretty. mass of thorny vines appears. At the point it of does. Impact. Oh, that sounds mm. awesome. Hail of thorns. That goes on my weapon. 
hail of thorns, um, it turns your one your one arrow into a bunch of thorns into a. Correct. Um. What's that one spell that rangers get? Wonder. Like stab an arrow into the ground. How strong and, uh, he is? Like cordon of arrows. Yeah, cordon of arrows. Yeah. Because yeah. if it's going to turn it into vines, it's, it's going to make him. He could be constrained. What, what's it called? Ensnaring strike? Yeah, yeah, ensnaring strike. It's not even on the, the 5e compendium thing. Hmm. Let me see if it's That's in this strange. Head. It's on my piece of paper right here, man. Yeah, I know. It's in the book. <laughs> When hitting the creature strike. with a weapon. And snaring strike. Okay. What did I say? Is, is it grappled or? Entangling. I said entangling. It's ensnaring. Okay. Well, he said ensnaring. Ensnaring oh. strike. The next That's time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, a writhing mass of thorny vines appears at the impact, at the point of impact, and the target must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. A large or larger creature has advantage on the saving throw. If the target succeeds on the save, the vines shrivel away. While restrained by the spell, the target takes 1d6 piercing damage at the start of each of its turns. A creature restrained by the vines or one that can touch the creature can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. On a success, the target is freed. Okay, um, but does that mean he can't move? Yeah, he's restrained. Yeah, so Restrained means you, you can't, can't move yeah, you at can't all. Move. Okay, gotcha. Anyway. Okay, is that, do what you want can to do I before. use that as many times as I want? or? Uh, he has to make a... Oh, that's right. But the thing it. about the thing about that is, he could it could still not affect him if he makes the spell save. Right. So it's 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 that or or hail of thorns if you wanted to use either one. Oh, it's a bonus action, too. Yeah, bonus okay. action. So then you can bonus action, do that, and then shoot. That's crazy. And it'd probably give you advantage too because he's able, he's not able to move. I mean, that's what I wanted to use because that sounds fun to, to tie him up. Besides just hitting him with no, it, because you can it, still shoot at him even if it fails. The yeah. spell is concentration, so you can, I have two attacks. So yeah, you're gonna drop your pass without trace. But it's a concentration spell. It lasts up to a minute. But we're not we're not necessarily sneaking anymore. Oh, this yeah. one doesn't actually say it's. So con- we didn't write concentration. You casting it? Yeah. Um, so I, I have to make a strength saving throw. Wait a minute. Um. Do I erase one of my marks? Yeah, you already? should also erase one for pass that trace. Oh, I forgot. That's the, is that a level one too? They're yeah. both level one yes. ones. Oh, I'm not looking at it. Okay. She, actually, she should actually have a bunch of spells now. She can only know four at level five. I could. I can't make it erase. Here you go. It erased. No, it still looks like it's there, especially the. So yeah, she's one got right there. Cure wounds. You make your d- your trace. dots too yeah, dark. Thorns and ensnaring strike. Okay, yeah. It's four great spells. I can't see. It great. still looks Classic. like I have three, Classic. but I really Classic only Ranger. have two. Okay, are you casting? Right, what am I? Yes. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Rolling? No, you don't have to roll anything. Yeah. I had to roll no, a strength to roll saving throw. That happens. Now oh, I thought I had to. From I thought it. I had to shoot at the same time. Mm. No. So, uh, well, if it's called ensnaring strike, when hitting a creature with a weapon. Yep. So she don't I have to? You have to hit first. I yeah. have to. She has to okay, go ahead and try to my go ahead and roll, roll then. So roll, roll my d20. Uh huh. Okay. Fourteen. And what am I adding though? I think ten. Is it ten? Plus ten. Yeah, that hits. Next to the longbow. Okay. Yeah. Definitely hits. AJ's got so shadows on my paper now. And then, uh, yeah. So I hit it. And now, do I do anything else? Do I have to? Roll? Yeah, you got to roll your damage now. Roll my d8. D8. Which is <laughs> double this pyramid. One right yep. Here. yep. Okay. Whoops. Five. Five plus five. Plus yeah, plus five. Okay, so ten damage. Ten damage, and that's supposed to be. Now doing I get to roll a strength saving throw. In sta- sneering strike. And how much? How much does he have to save? He has to. Your spell save is over here. Uh, which is thirteen. Oh. I rolled a nine, so. He is ensnared. Did you say it? And he takes 1d6 at the beginning of every turn he starts. Of his turn. Okay, gotcha. You have to do that every time to see if he can get out every time. Okay. You have another attack, too. You can shoot him again if you want. Oh, I can shoot him again while he's down. 
And he doesn't, he can't even reach me. I'm she still can shoot way twice because she has extra attack as a ranger. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, she yeah, can get that's herself. what it is. I was so, D20. She, she had to yep, so roll again. After she hit yes. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Awesome. Upon hitting I thought it was a... You cast it. Oh, okay. Seven. Plus ten. Plus ten. That hits. I it was Seventeen. Yay. Action. And then I roll the D8 it's again. Like I mean, yeah. Okay. I, I didn't, I didn't catch Eight. Plus five. Plus so five. Thirteen. Sweet. Got a good chunk on him that time. Sweet. All right. Now we go to... And he's ensnared. Top of the turn. Does. Do you want to move or anything? Are you good where you're at? Me? That's a long ways. What, what's a long bow? Uh, 150 for normal range and then 600. <laughs> 600 for long range. 75 yeah. feet. Okay, just making sure. I knew it was far. All right, Chris, it's your turn. Unless okay. you want to move, Thorn. Um, no, I don't, I don't want to move. Okay. I'm happy where I'm I'm going to move towards this guy. Okay. This altar is a few feet off the ground. What do you want to do there? I mean, if I can get there within 25 feet, I mean, if I have to, do I have to jump over or can I go around It's only 20, it? so, okay. Yeah, you can get there. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to uh, enact insightful fighting, in which I use a bonus action um, to cast an um, insight against a creature that I'm fighting. It's contested against their charisma. So if my insight that I roll is better than his charisma, then I get to deal sneak attack damage. Do I roll a charisma throw or what? Yeah, yeah, it'd be it'd be charisma save. Um, it says contested by their charisma, so I don't think it'd be a save. I think it'd just be a, just a roll against straight roll. charisma. Yeah. Okay. Ten plus insight. Sixteen. What would a six charisma be? Would that be a minus two? That'd be a minus. See, so ten is zero, so. Minus eight, eight or eight eight would be minus, minus one, one. and so then minus two. minus two. Yeah. With a minus two, it's a fifteen. Okay, so yeah. I, so you I, got I, it. Yeah. All right. So then I'm uh, I'm gonna hit him with my. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. You don't touch him. There's a Kleenex right, and there's a trash right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Andy. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, stab him fly. stab him with my with my short sword. Okay. Wait. Wait. Did you do damage? What did you do? Psychic damage. That was an insight. Okay. But to to find out his weaknesses. And now you do so extra damage. Sneak attack. Him. Okay. Got yeah. you. And that is That's for my attack roll. Um. Twenty six to hit. Wow. Yeah. And don't forget, he's also ensnared. So. Yeah, so but it doesn't do anything though. Yeah, it just gives me advantage, I guess. Would you have advantage? No, I wouldn't, because he's still standing up. Yeah, but he can't move. Oh, so I guess move. I do. Okay, let me try if to get him a natural 20. you advantage. Okay, yeah, sure, roll. Yeah, I figured that had to do something. No, it's not a natural 20. So anyways. Okay, go ahead. Roll your damage now. Also, you get sneak attack because it is an advantage, isn't it? Well, I, I also get sneak attack because of what I just did. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, <laughs> okay, four, so it doesn't really matter. Plus four, plus... Okay, so it's nine, and then sneak attack. Nine. Uh, Thirteen... 18 damage. Okay. Is that your turn? Man, that's my turn. Okay, now it is um, Risen Dude's turn again. Oh, the Risen guy. <laughs> He's going to move. He's going to try to stab um, Chris in the back here. He misses. Yay. What do you mean he misses? He rolled a two. Oh, okay. All right. If it's um, a two. How about like a 17? Is that hit? 17 does hit. Okay. It, it does hit Mr. Ringle. Ooh, max damage of seven. Woo. How is that a max? That's as I much rolled damage a, I as I rolled he a six do. on a D6. Oh, it's a, it's not the and then plus his. Okay, I thought it's you not a critical the same not a natural twenty. Then you have the eight. Yeah. You, okay. Um, that's his turn. Corliss. Okay. I'm going to rush up to this guy, but as I'm running, I'm going to throw both daggers straight at him. At the guy that's stabbing Crisk. Yes. Okay. That's a nineteen to hit on the first one. Okay, that hits. 
That's a 17 plus 7. Also hits. Okay, that is a 6. So that's and he's engaged with me, so sneak attack. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, that's 8 damage, and then... More damage, that's 16 and 5, that's 21. 21 damage, and then... He goes down. That's 6 more damage. Okay, he's out. Yeah, we have killed him again. All right. <laughs> he goes down. He slumps against the, against the altar. And this now, time he kind of just like crumbles like to ash. Oh, so he can't be resurrected again then. Plus the fact that the guy that read the book is now ensnared. So you got him with that. Read, he can't read the book. Mm. Moving up there. Yeah, it's not that close. But I was trying to get up close. <laughs> okay, that was your turn. Yeah, he just That was your turn, yes. Corliss. Okay, now it is the Deathless Apprentice's turn. Okay, and he's he has to he has to roll right to. Yeah, he, to does. Move. he takes one d six damage. Give me time. roll a d six. Roll a d six for damage. Oh on. me. Yep. yep. Oh, that's this. Yep. Okay. I thought he had to roll. Well, he has he also to roll does. for that. So he took two two damage there from the str- the ensnaring, mm-hmm. and he on it his turn he rolled a sixteen on a strength save, so he breaks out. You see oh, him no. kind of break out of these vines. I figured that would happen. And he immediately reaches his hand toward um, Krisk. He's the closest. And I'm also the smallest. This guy's a bully. He likes to, you know. And you up. stand out the most because you're green. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I'm out in the open now. I'm not hiding anymore. Well, either way, we both get sneak attack because we're. Um, you're gonna take. You're gonna take ten fire damages. He he rips out of these vines and just extends his hand, and a blast of fire comes dodge. out right in your face. Uncanny dodge. Uncanny dodge. Can you uncanny dodge a magical effect? I thought it was it's any damage. Else. It's I thought damage. you had to uh, have that. Uh, what was the other? What's the next. Yeah, it's not uncanny. Dodge. No, that's for area of effects. It's not an area of effect. Yeah, but this is just like a half damage though. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's see. To dodge an area of effect spell, you had to have evasion. Yeah, and that's later. That's like not. It hits you with an attack. Nine. You yeah, can use your reaction to have. Just the damage. He attacks damage okay. against you. Evasion is the thing you're thinking about. If you okay, yeah. If you you can see. Yep. So when was, an attacker you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction. Yeah. So mm. it was it was ten. Now it's it was five. eleven. Now it's five. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, and this blast of flame comes right into your face, and you kind of step back, and as you open back, you open your eyes back up. He is gone. Oh. He's disappeared. He has disappeared. Oh no! Tyrell loves it right now. Tyrell loves I it. I wanted to kill him. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, offer detail. As a bonus action, make a perception check for hidden creatures. Can I try that? Sure, try it. Ooh. That's twenty, not natural. Um, you don't see him. He he didn't just like go invisible like he's like puffed into smoke like he's just not there. Mm. Okay, that's his turn. Uh, no, all the enemies are out of the room. Thorn, your turn. Are they gone? Who? All the enemies. Yeah, there's no enemies currently. No in more the room. enemies. So, what do we do? Are, we're not still you battling. Do? You're saying it's my turn, but yeah. there's nobody to battle. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you do when there's nobody to battle? Well, you could <laughs> move somewhere, or you could hold your action. You could hide. You could hide, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not experienced at this, so... I just wanted to get the tree and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Make like a tree and leave. Yeah, That's I get hilarious. it. I get it. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? I don't know, AJ. What do I need to do? I don't. I don't know. There's nothing to do anymore. There's no one to attack. Yeah. Doesn't mean there's nothing to do. Do you want to move or no? You're just gonna stay put. I guess so. I don't know. You can also talk to, to us on your turn. 
through your through your okay. Mind. Or she could just through haul her mind out. Brain. They could just haul her out. Yeah, but we don't know if there's any more around. Yeah, true. Anything at all? I can't think of anything. All right, Krisk. Um, I think it's clear. What do you guys think? Where did he go exactly? I don't know. <laughs> to another dimension. Thorn, back to you. Back to me. That was, they just use their turns. By saying one sentence? Mm-hmm, they talk. Because each turn is six seconds. I don't understand why we're still in a battle. There's nothing there. No one said you're still in a battle. Okay, then why are we having turns? Because you don't really do turns when you're not in a battle. You gotta right? do something. <laughs> well, we should continue and, and try to... Are you going for the tree? What are you doing? Well, that's our goal, so we need to be going that direction and see what happens. Maybe if we try to get the tree, maybe the, some, some enemies will come out so we can get rid of them. So you're going towards the tree? I guess. How close? How far you want to go? Oh. Do you want to move your full movement? Do you want to yeah. dash? She got thirty-five. You can go your, you can dash and go all the way up here. Sure. Okay. But the downside of that is you couldn't attack. Right, but there's nothing there. Okay. Okay. And you guys are there anyway, so if it needs to be, you can attack. To you. Okay. Um. I guess I'll go up to the tree. You don't need tree. I got, yeah, I got nothing else. Okay. Can't do anything else. Okay. You kind of hop over this little wall that's, that's built around the area where the tree is. Mm-hmm. And the roots of this tree are massive. They're stretching out like all the way to the water. They're going in every direction. and But the tree is not super large. It's maybe 15 feet tall. Mm-hmm. Eight feet across, maybe. Mm-hmm. It's not that big of a tree. I mean, it's mm-hmm. bigger than our Christmas tree over there, mm-hmm. but not by a whole lot. But it's just beautiful. It's very full. Mm-hmm. It's a nice evergreen. Did anyone bring an axe? <laughs> Are we gonna do the the Griswold thing? <laughs> <laughs> Dig it up. Pull it up out of the ground. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we can chop it. My sword is my sword is. Strong enough. So are you just surveying the tree? Is there anything you want to know about it, or do you want to make any kind of check, or are you just good? Is there still a hole? I mean, there, there's a hole in the ceiling where the moonlight's coming Make a perception in, check. Okay. 19. Okay, yeah, you can see up through the... You look up really high, and there's there's some, some fissures, some cracks, and the light's just somehow making its way down through there. Is it, say, big enough for, like, a hawk to fit through? Probably. Okay, I relay that information to... That there's a crack uh, big yeah, enough up there for the maybe hawk Maybe we there. could send our hawk to see where that hole up there leads. Okay. So Is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Corliss, your turn? I'm going to go behind this pillar right here, and I'm going to use the hide bonus action. Uh, use my action to prepare an attack if he reappears. Okay, what are you what are you holding? My psionic blade. Psionic blade holding psionic blade. Okay. And you're hiding? You roll to hide though, right? Yep, yep. Still. Um now don't add ten to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That That's uh twelve. It's not very high, twelve. But. Okay. Maybe I could put that back on. You could, but you might burn through a spell slot. There. Bam! Oh, that's right. I can't. That that costs. Okay, so he just reappeared. Yeah, but you don't see him. Right. Um, and he's going to fire a uh, oh, deathless appeared? ember at Thorn. Oh, I didn't even see him appear. Where Twelve did he... damage, a Where roaring did he flame. From? He popped up in the middle back there. He just popped up all of a sudden. Yep, and he yeah, fires a uh, deathless ember at you and does. 12 damage. And I don't get any... I can't do anything about that? No. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you took 12 damage. Okay, well... What's oh, 12? is it? Oh, okay. 65 so minus 12 is... What? 53? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, I need a pencil. You took my pencil that you oh, gave I'm me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, and uh, now we go to Thorn. It's your turn. Oh, uh... Do oh, I you see were him? holding. Yeah. You can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see him now when the flame comes out, you see him. Okay. A 
nine to hit another doesn't hit. That misses. Yep. But not by much. Really? Yeah. Is he just wearing robes? Pretty much. Kind of leatherish robes. Looks like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The magical ch- Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Thorn. It's my turn now. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, am I? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Yeah, you're, you're right there. The you could right shoot him from where you're at, or you could get up close, start hitting him with whatever sword or weapon she you have. She has a staff. I should use my my bow. I'm far enough away from him. Absolutely, can shoot him you sure. are. So shoot away. I'm going to shoot him once again. Should I sh- use the? No, that's another spell. I don't want to take. I mean, you can. Uh, this can. would be the time to use the spells. You think is I is on attacking? Well, I know, but I just don't know if I should use it up like already because I'm gonna. I'm already that. down to two. And what if Make I really move, need it? I'm gonna sh- just shoot him okay. this time. Waymo. Got him. Twelve. That hits. Roll damage. So it's a one d eight. You said. Yep. Yep. And it's plus five. Plus five. Yep. Ten damage. Okay. Awesome. And you can attack again. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh-oh. What is that? A seven. Oh, it's a seven. Plus ten is seventeen. What do you add to seventeen? Ten. Yeah. So oh, it hits. Ten. D8 plus five. Okay. Go three plus so five. Eight. Uh, eight. Eight damage. Another eight. Okay. So right. is, he, is, Crisk. is he 25 feet from me? He's further than that. He is? <laughs> oh, he's over there. Okay. Uh, he's 40 feet from me. Okay, get me 25 feet to him. Okay. It's a bonus action again. I will uh, use insightful fighting. Okay. It's my, uh, my insight versus his charisma. Okay. It's 12. 14. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> then um, I will... Uh, uh, then I'll shoot him with my crossbow, you know? Did you attack when you, you were holding your action, weren't you? Yeah, I did. I, I, you did I, attack? I did, yeah, I did attack. I missed. Oh, By, that's like, right. That's whatever right. it was, like okay. two or that's whatever. Right. 25 to hit. That hits. My gosh. No. Oh, throw. Where did throw. it go? Gotta stay on the table. He got hung up right on my... On my pinky. It's a that's a seven to hit. I mean seven damage. I mean. Okay. Seven damage. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. I don't think I have another attack. Of course. Okay. I'm going to throw both my sonic daggers at him. I know I'm not okay. going to sneak attack, but still. Okay. Let's say 11 to hit. Oh, wait. 11 to hit. Does that hit? Does hit. Okay. Oh. That's uh, six points of damage, and then I'm going to throw the other one as a bonus action. That's a 25 that to hits. hit. And that's a D4. Plus four, so eight points of damage. And then I'm going to move up to him. Okay. You get advantage next time. Okay, it is now the Deathless Apprentice's turn. (laughs) What's that piece? At this point, the podcast listeners are thinking, why is everyone silent? Because that's what I always do. Because they can't see what's happening. He is going to reach out, Corliss. He's going to reach out and scratch you with his nasty fingernails. (laughs) Oh, max damage. Six six damage. damage. Yeah, this is about like a getting bit by a Komodo dragon. Yeah, but it's necrotic damage or poison or something. Did you do the thing to see if it hits? Plague damage. 
the does it just automatically hit? Hold on. Apparently, that was what I was confused about. Yeah. None, of, none of this says like plus anything to hit. It just all shows damage rolls. It doesn't. So apparently, so it, it automatically. No matter happens. what. Yeah. Interesting. Um, hmm. Is it uh, necrotic damage or something? Yes. Okay. And in the game. Yeah, and uh, you now have coughing plague. I knew it. How did I know it was a plague? You've got COVID. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> the D and D form. Okay. Coughing um, plague. Now, at the start of of each of your turns, I will roll, and something may happen. Oh boy. Uh, uh, did I take any damage? You just the si- the six damage. Oh, six damage. Okay. Yeah. So, it's crazy that there's not like a constitution save either. What? Sorry, I need room. And uh, you being so close to him, you can just feel just a chill in the air. Okay. Okay, and we are now going to. Oh. I know. Okay. Um, now we are to Thorn. That's what I thought. I'm after the creature. Um, or before everybody else. <laughs> I'm at the end. Either way you look at it. I only got like <laughs> seven or something on the initiative. Um, okay, well, he seems to ha- have um, quite a bit of stuff he's trying to do to people, so I, I want to make him, I want to ensnare him again with my hit. Okay. I have to hit you him. You gotta first. hit him first. Okay. Now, you could cast this as level Trust two, couldn't you? Could. I don't know what it does at level two. How, how do you do that? You just what say does that mean? it's a level one spell. Yeah. It's you can cast it at level two, and it'll be more powerful. Okay. Let me. Oh, see. so I have two chances Sometimes. at level two. You still have two level two spell slots. And I have. I have two. So you can cast a level two. one spell. If you cast a spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot level. So instead of so. 1d6, it'll do 2d6 whenever yeah. mm-hmm. he takes damage. And you have if you two want it, second level spell slots. If you want to burn a second level spell slot instead of a first level to okay. cast. Okay, well, which one do I want to do? I think you have one more level one spell slot and you have two more level two. No, she has no two I have each. two of each. Oh, okay. Right now, that's why I'm trying to decide which one should I do. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, we want to destroy the guy, but mm-hmm. which one, what should I do? Should I save that, or should I use it? Make a decision, Thorn. It's your character. What would your he, character do? He broke out of the first time after yeah. pretty quick, so maybe we should try and see what happens if we yeah, use a second you level. You're going to use second level? I suppose. I'll Snaring try. Snaring strike at second level by I'll try. Wham. Come on. That hits. Ooh, a big hit. So roll your damage. I'll roll a strength Let's saving. Let's do a big damage. Max damage. Max oh, damage. Dear. Max damage. What is that? What is it's this? It's a six plus five is 11. Okay. Unfortunately, okay. he has a 20 not natural strength save. So, so the ensnaring, strike, ensnaring strike fails. Save. Even though I used the big one? Yeah. Dang it. That's not fair. I shouldn't have used the big one. <laughs> But you still have another attack as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you did how much damage there? 11? No. Yeah, 11. Six plus five, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, he still got damaged? Yep. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought it did nothing since he threw the saving thing. Okay, well, I'm going to just throw, just shoot my bow at him again. Okay. Here we go. Wham. Oh, no. It's just a four, but it's t- with a ten. Plus ten. So Fourteen 14. hits. Still hits. Okay. Let's get an eight. Come plus on. Yeah, it is. Four. Four plus, plus five. five nine. nine. Okay. Now, Krisk, back to you. Put me up to him. All the back way to, to him. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Ringle. I moved 25 feet, and you said I was 40 feet away, so it should be with with 25 gets you there. Okay. Yeah. Um, listen. It looks like I can do sneak attack damage now. Cause it looks like it does. Yeah, it yeah. looks like you can. So let's see what. <laughs> okay, Natural that's okay. One. It's okay because I can re-roll <laughs> natural <laughs> ones. Yes, you can. Eleven plus seven is eighteen. Eighteen to hit. Yeah, that hits. I'm not worried about them natural ones, baby. 
Five plus sneak attack. Five. That's ten. That's fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. Wow. Okay. Got to knock this guy down. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I didn't add my. Um, I just rolled a, a d6. Or, yeah, a d6, and didn't add my. Okay. Other damage. So how much more? Uh, five. So that's twenty altogether. Okay. It's five plus five, five and then I rolled a five, and right. two and a three. So that's Corliss. 20. I'm gonna attack him with two hits, bonus action and main attack. Natural twenty and a sixteen to hit. Dude, we killed this dude. Yeah, both hits. So wait a minute, is sneak attack doubled? Yes, you double the dice. Double th- yeah, double the sneak attack. You double the amount of dice you roll or whatever. Okay, that's five plus four. That's roll it nine. Again. That's two plus. Well, you don't add the. You just plus. double the dice. Yeah. So. So that's five plus two, that's seven. And then plus four, because of the- Eleven. Yeah, okay. And then, that's eight, uh, twelve. And then and roll those again. three again. So twelve plus eleven is- uh, Twenty-three. That's twelve again. Thirty-five. Uh, thirty-five points of damage. Yeah, thirty-five. And- Your modifier, did you even add that? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, a plus okay. four. Yeah. And I get to do this. That's a three plus four, so that's a uh, seven, seven more damage. So forty-two points of damage. Wow, have we taken him out yet? Psychic damage. That's what rogues are really good at. Well, it's good. He's good looking very have. rough. Okay. He's wow. Looking very rough. You can take him out um, now. We'll maybe with is that your turn? Um. Yeah. He's next. Well, he's got Kay. a turn too. Yeah. Oh, uh, roll. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you oh. gotta. You gotta. <laughs> you're in a coffin fit right now. <laughs> Oh, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got a, he's got a disease or whatever. He's okay though. He's got a plague. But that didn't affect his attack. No, so not that time. Plagues and whatnot. Um. Okay. okay, this time he's going to um. Yeah, he's going to hack onto both of you. Nasty fumes come oh, out. Oh, like from, cough. Yeah, he's <laughs> some nasty fumes come out from behind his mask, and he just coughs all over you. Just nasty fluid. Ew! I'm um, glad I'm further away. You both have coughing, <laughs> plague. Wait, how far away are you? I mean, are you within five, fifteen? I'm with Me? Yeah. Well, I can't tell how far how far I am. How big are about those squares? Feet. Yeah, this is probably about dude. 15. This is a Corona Christmas. No, just out. <laughs> Woo! Just gets missed. Okay. Just got missed. Okay. Was it like a cone of cough? Yeah, it's 15 feet in <laughs> a, a in a, cone that of direction. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay, that's his turn. That's his turn. So and now it's Thorn's turn. Okay, I'm going to take him out with my bow yes. he's going down going down you got two attacks too yes i do so whoop up on him no, roll whoop a up on him <gasps> natural one a natural one Dang. plus misses. 10 nope. no misses. that still doesn't hit him no those other natural, guys were hit. natural one one's a natural you, one dang you burnt man. that one it's okay it's all right i get to still sh- do it again this though. one's gonna be a natural 20 though so don't yeah i haven't gotten a natural 20 yet. it's time for a natural 20 it absolutely is it's a 12. It's a Most natural 10. 12. It's 22. 22. Well, so that damage. hits him. Here. Roll what? some damage. D8. Give me an 8. 4. four plus 5 number. is 9. 9. That's the second time I rolled a 4. I've been getting lots of 4s in okay. my life lately. He's looking okay. very rough. Looking very Hold rough on. still. You're good. For now. All right, let's go. Let's go, natural 20. Let's go. Come on. Oh, so close. I can't see. Oh, that's a 10. I thought it was 19. Oh. <laughs> uh, 17 altogether. Is this a 17 hit? <laughs> 17. Does uh, 17 yes, hit? 17 okay. hits. I'm sorry. So, it's 3 plus 5 is 8 plus sneak attack damage. Damage. I did say 8, right? Yeah, 8. 18 20 damage 
How would you like to do this? Ooh. Oh, he gets to take him out. Oh, oh darn, man, I I'm it. just like I I'm a toy small toy. guy, so like I broad I broadside the you know my my short sword into the side of his knee, you know, yeah. just like I crack the knee, yeah. You know? And then I like just bat him across the face with it, just the same, you know, the broad side of it. Yeah. And then just shh, cut his head off. Cut it's his done. head off. It's done. His head right off. Ain't coughing on me no more, pal. <laughs> Hold on. His head kind of rolls off to the side, and the body kind of just crumbles. Doesn't look like it was held together by much. Nice. And he is down. Am I still coughing? Yes, you're still coughing. Oh, oh we no. have to stay sick even after the source is dead. Well, I have a. I have a curing thing, but you have health potion anyway. Yeah, yeah. This is something a little bit different, I think. Well, it's like uh, we'll have to definitely get a uh, priest back when we get back to the town. <laughs> 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 now stop. Amanda's really going to say we shouldn't be playing this game. <laughs> He's out here hacking away. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think we need to get out of here. Um... Do we go back the way we came? I don't know. There's got to be that... another way because we have to bring this tree. Um, look over here by the water. I'll start cutting down the tree. Oops. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Is there like another source of light that way? Do I see? Uh, perception check. Sure. Roll. Roll perception. Let's see. Fourteen. Um, just the moonlight coming through the cracks up high. Okay. That's the only light. What about that way? No. No, okay. no light coming from that direction. Okay. The cave just kind of rounds out back behind the water. Um, can I can. investigate and see if there's any, like, secret exits or anything Openings. like that? Sure. Where do you want to look? It's against the wall. Just do the whole... Okay. Make so. an investigation check. Uh, can I, can I also, with, uh... Investigation check to uncover clues after I cut the tree down. Like my offer detail that I have here. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Did you cut the tree down? I mean, I, I reckon. What it, are you hacking into it with? My hacking cough. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was using my short sword to. Okay. We bring back the tree, it's like wilted from you coughing on <laughs> So, anyways, um, I reckon, I mean, I get that done after he he's doing his. Check of the cave. Make so. some, uh, eighteen yeah. for the investigation check. Okay. Twenty-five. You're investigating for. I'm looking for a, a secret door. Way out. Yeah. Um. You don't find any. Shoot. Okay. Well. I wonder if my if my hawk can fly around and find a hole, and screech to let us know where it is. Okay. You tell him to fly around and look for a hole. Yeah. Okay, roll um, roll perception. You can roll it an advantage for him. Okay. Where, where is that? Is there like a ladder or anything leading, like a rope ladder or something going up to the ceiling up there? Nope. Nothing like that? Okay. Afraid not. 14. It's Plus advantage. Four. You can roll it again. Let's see if you get higher. Oh, higher than 14? Yep. Okay, I shall try. No. no. Okay, so. so the 14 plus 4, 18. He flies around up high for a while. He doesn't see anything, and he comes back and lands back on your shoulder. Okay. I was hoping he was going to find a crack. Well. What about the um, platform that the tree's sitting on? Is there anything in particular special about that um, that I notice? No, not really. Just that the roots are very large, and this tree's been growing for hundreds of years, and it's not very big. Just the roots are big. The tree stays the same size. Um, the moonlight is kind of on it, and uh, Chris has been, or yeah, Chris has been hacking it down. What about uh, like the what is that stair? Is that stairs that's going up through that? Yeah, there's kind of like a little altar there, no. and then you can step down into the area. Um, I'm gonna come back down through here. Okay. Is there anything back here that I notice? Doorway or anything like that? No doorways. There's just some stuff laying around, and you see a few skeletons kind of rotting in the dirt. Okay. Well, it doesn't appear like there's anything around here. 
Okay, so we gotta find a way to, um, we gotta find a way to... Where does this river go? Can we float the tree out? Mm -mm. It ends right here. Right? How could a river end right here? Well, the river continues to flow, but it, I mean, it... It's all yeah, underground. you're underground. It doesn't so. come back up to the surface anywhere that we can... Well, not that you would know of, no. Okay. Hey, it was a trick that you had uh, with when you were dragging that body earlier. Mm-hmm. What was that? It's a... Uh, telekinesis, more or less. A, a very minute version of telekinesis. Do you think you can pick up part of this tree with that? How big is this tree? <laughs> well, he just said it was about it's, 15 feet. Yeah, 14, 15 no. feet tall. <laughs> no, no, no. It's going to take probably like two of us probably to carry it. I right? mean, that's what I was thinking is one of us carry it, but like space ourselves out still. You know, like mm-hmm. for me, I'm probably the lightest one here. If I grab part of the tree and then your mage hand grabs like the middle of the tree and then someone grabs like the, the end of the tree. But we have to walk across the bridge. That's what I'm thinking. We might disperse amount, uh, enough enough weight and still see where we're going so we don't fall off the edge of the bridge <laughs> that's gonna be the trick yeah. I mean I guess you could I don't know I mean in the base version of Mage Hand I think it says like you can't lift anything more than like five, ten, pounds. Ten, five is it ten, pounds is it ten pounds five or ten I don't know I mean it could pull ten pounds worth you know it was pulling a body. But the, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, is with mine, it's enhanced by that feat. So you can push or pull someone. So I was, I was assume that it would now have the ability to like drag a, gotcha. a heavier gotcha. thing, you know. Yep. 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 Gotcha. I would think. I don't know. Maybe not. Shoot. Would it be possible to drag the tree all the way across that bridge? Yeah, up to ten pounds. It can't carry anything more than ten pounds. Okay. So what's the plan? I mean, we have to get it across that bridge. That's the one thing we definitely got to do. I just was not expecting that. I thought there would be another way. Well, uh, let's try getting it across the bridge, I guess. All right. I'm loading up the tree and... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I get my torch out. Um, yeah. Don't burn the tree up. No, I mean, I'm... I'm I mean, I've... We have to torch see out here, going. tree. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that um, way I can see and still I, I can take the front. Not maybe as heavy as you would have thought. It's not all that bad. Oh, good. Um, make some strength checks. Great. Wonderful. Here we go, guys. Just, just okay, that's strength cocks? checks. Oh. Yeah. That was cocks. It's a 16. Do I add this <gasps> I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Plus two to it? Oof. I'm not okay. that lucky. I got 13 altogether. <laughs> He's, he used the, the halfling lock and re-rolled Six. the one and got a five. Yeah, I had... I, well, here's the thing. The first one that I rolled was cocked, and I could see 18. I was like, okay, well, I can't use that. Re-roll it. One. I'm lucky. I re-roll it. Five. I'm not lucky. So... Six. Six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Nineteen. And uh, uh, 16. Nineteen, sixteen. Yeah. Okay, you're all carrying this tree, and you're going back kind of through the tunnel back towards the bridge. And it's a little tight, but you managed to kind of weave it through there. You're coming up on the bridge. Who's leading the way? I guess it's me. I mean, I, I'm wanting to get the heaviest part of it since I'm the Well, then the you would probably be smallest. the last. You're the, le- you're the oh. weakest. Right? I mean, I would think the weight would be in the back. Maybe not. I would think that you'd want to put the... The weight forward? Yeah, the weight forward. Like your trunk. You're carrying it because the trunk's going to be the most clear spot. True. You know? Okay. Yeah, sure. If you're squeezing it through things, you're going to bend the branches towards the front because that's how they're naturally bending. Okay. I got you. Yeah. yeah. All right. You start with the trunk. You going across the bridge? Yeah. I've got my torch out and, um, you know, trunk over my left shoulder. Okay. Everybody make dexterity walking yes. across the bridge. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm a wow. beast. What is that? That is a 12. I got, I got thirty. Fifteen check. plus five. Uh, yeah. yeah, I got twenty. Not, not natural. Sixteen. Sixteen. 20, Twenty. Not natural. Four. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Wow. 
great. Yeah, y'all don't have any problem. You walk this sucker across the bridge. It's swaying underneath you, but you're just ready to get out of here. You're not about to fall off into this chasm. And you make it to the other side. And now all you gotta do is carry it up the stairs and out. As soon as you put your foot off of the bridge and onto this precipice, you make it. <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens and you make it. And then up the stairs. And as you get to the top, the tree begins to come out the hole, you know, first. Okay. And uh, you hear a, a voice of the small gnome. Oh, well, they've actually done it. <laughs> I came back to check on you. <laughs> wow. Do You didn't think we would make it? I wasn't sure that the tree was still there. You never know. <laughs> yeah, the tree was there. The cultists were there. It's a whole mess. Just like I said. Hmm. <laughs> you were correct. Anyway. We um, now have a tree for the town. Yeah, we need to go. Let's yeah, go. bring it on back. <laughs> I'll lead the way. <laughs> you can tell some snow has fallen while you were in there, so it's it's quite a trudge. Um, I don't guess there's any kind of transportation anywhere around. No, nobody brought a car. didn't bring him. Unfortunately. Um, so you haul it back to town. Mm-hmm. And we could drag it, though. We could drag it if you wanted to. Yeah. Might, we Either might way. mess it up if we do that because we want it to be beautiful for the down tree, you know. We can all carry, carry I'd it. I'd say they get what they get, okay? If we can carry it that, across the bridge, we can carry it all that without being fault. on a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you come into town, the mayor runs out to greet you. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh, the tree was there. <laughs> You've really saved my hind end. We sure did. <laughs> and he hands you a sack of coins. Uh, just set the tree there at the center of town where we always have the tree, and uh, we'll stand it up tomorrow and have the town lighting. Fant- fantastic. Just wonderful. <laughs> just wonderful. <laughs> we can all rest easy now. Yep, yep. Yes. Uh, of yeah. course, Mayor Curd. Um, I mean, what are we here for if not for a... Friosmus. Friosmus miracle. <laughs> He uh, shakes each one of your hands very aggressively, and uh, that's it. And that's it. <laughs> you saved Friosmus. We won. Woo! Merry Friosmus, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well, all right. that wasn't bad yeah. at all. No, that's a good time. Hey, right thank you guys here. for listening. Yeah, thanks for listening to this special episode of the Commoners of D and D. Should we like sing jingle bells at the end or something? No, I don't think so. <laughs> um, so yeah, go check out Tiger Skull RPG and you can get the Deathless Apprentice and try to kill your players with it. Yeah. It also yeah, makes for a really good gift for that D and D player in your life. Right. And since it's downloadable content, you don't have to wait for shipping or anything like that. Absolutely not. Last minute gift idea. Perfect stocking stuffer. If I if I have this uploaded by Christmas, I don't know that that's gonna happen. I hope I'll try. Well let's hope. I'll try my best. If not, you know. If not, it'll be for next Christmas. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, hope you all enjoyed it, and hopefully the commerce will be back in action pretty soon, maybe after the first of the year. Absolutely. So. We don't have any more outbreaks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Tiger Skull RPG, Commerce 15. Boop, boop. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of the Commoners of D&D. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe to the podcast to make sure you never miss an episode and leave us a review to help people just like you find the podcast. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Commoners Official for news, updates, and more exclusive content. Thanks for listening.